All right. I would like to welcome the legendary, I can say this a hundred times, but the legendary Tawatha A.G. How are you? Hi, Ricardo. I'm doing very well. I'm, I'm glad. Listen, you know, um, before the podcast, we were talking and I've been waiting so long to talk to you because, um, as I said to you offline, um, your voice has been heard all over the world. Yeah. And people don't really know your voice. They may not know your, they know your voice, but they may not know your name. Right. But you are a, uh, uh, a queen, a legend of music, let alone R&B music, because I know you do all genres. So it's not just one type of music. You do all kinds of music, and I'm just so happy to have you here. It's just a pleasure for you to sit down and take out the time to talk to me. Thank you. It's my honor to be here. It's my honor to be here. Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, um, let's see. Where did this all start? Like, where, where did you grow up? Where did you come from? I mean, I where were you born? I uh, Newark, New Jersey. I, I'm going to have yes. to make an adjustment here because I do your thing. it's going to fall down. No, nah, that's all right. Do your thing. Here we go. Then that'll okay. stay. My head all right. Big. Um, I, I grew up in New Jersey, in Newark, mm -hmm. New Jersey. Okay. I went to arts high school in Newark. Yes. I uh, went to uh, Howard University in D.C. And then I started singing. You went to Howard. Wow. H.U. Uh, you well, know. well, let, let's go back to arts. So arts high. I know it's arts high school is in Newark, New Jersey, which is a performing arts high school. Yes, it is. Which is a really big school for performing arts. And then you made that transition. You went over to Howard University. Um, yes. How did you, what made you uh, make that decision to go to Howard? Well, I wanted to go to a black school, but first of all, I wanted to get out of Newark because <laughs> I'd never <laughs> been anywhere. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, and I, I applied to one school. I applied, applied to Howard University okay. and I got in uh, and I went, went to the College of Fine Arts. I got my degree in uh, fine arts. Right. Nice. Way back in the day. <laughs> we, 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 I ain't gonna ask you how far back, but it was, it was you know, back. <laughs> yeah, way back, way back. <laughs> like, like, oh, way, way, you say way, back, way. Back when it was tape, right? <laughs> no, that was cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Now, at Howard University, from what I understand, um, you sang with a group called Hot Tea, and you yes, worked with, um, which I think is incredible, Angela Wimbush and Richard Smallwood, which is, he's incredible as well. Yes. How did yes. you guys form that group? Well, uh, I was, the, uh, Richard had graduated and he was, you know, he helped other students who were doing recitals. He would okay. accompany people. And uh, Angela was uh, a new student there. Um, and another young lady by the name of Elette Ricks okay. was also a member of Hot Tea and Shelton Becton, who's a very fine arranger and pianist and singer himself. Wow. And so we all, we were in the practice rooms all the time, you know, practicing and doing whatever sure. we had to do for class. And we know we, we all love gospel music and Angela and I started singing stuff together. We just walked into the room one day, we just started singing and, you know, everybody played and everybody sang. So, and then Elette came in and it was just, we stayed in the same dorm. So it was like, Wow. Why, hey, why not? Why not, right? <laughs> Let, let's just sing. And then we sang around. Um, and then they went to Richard Smallwood's church. Ah. So, uh, but everybody was connected through Howard. Wait, and, Richard Smallwood, he's from D.C., isn't he? He's from D.C., yeah. Got it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so uh, he, they went to his church. And then, uh, you know, it's like, okay. We, we just started singing. It sort of just fell into place. And right. then people would ask us to sing at their churches. And uh, before you know it, uh, we, we got a, 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 a little reputation okay. for being good. And uh, because everybody sang and played, it wasn't just like one person accompanied everything. Right. Uh, I would sit down and play. Angela would sit down and play. Elette would sit down and play. Who Elette, who was like the most amazing pianist ever. Oh, really? I mean, ever. Now, were uh, you classically trained or...? At Howard, there you at go. Howard, at there you Howard, go. yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. But uh, my, my major was music education, got so uh, uh, you know we we got together and we sang at churches. We sang at their church, they sang at my church in okay. D.C. And uh, you know, before you know it, uh, we Donald Bird was a professor there, and he had the Blackbirds, oh, and wow. so they would ask us to sing with them occasionally. Uh, and, uh, we knew, uh, we had a mutual friend by the name of Louise West, 
who was an attorney and a friend of Donald Byrd, and oh. and uh, she knew uh, M. Tume and M. James M. Tume and Reggie Lucas, who were looking for a group to produce. And she said, I got these kids down here in D.C. Come mm-hmm. listen to these kids. He came down to listen. We did a demo. Uh, that didn't work out, but it just so happened we both lived in Newark. So we kept in touch. Makes sense. It we makes kept sense. in touch. And makes so sense. when I got home after graduation, he said, you know, I'm going to start this group. Would you be interested? Like, sure. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, 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 I was a, you know, I had my degree in music ed, but I couldn't get a full-time job as a teacher. Sure. Okay. So I was subbing and it's like, mm, you know, you know how subbing is you get up there, and right? get dressed and, and nobody calls. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to crack a dawn and and you know where to go. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, like like twenty five dollars a day, which was a lot back then. Sure, but, um, sure. But then uh, M two May would call me for a few sessions, mm-hmm. you know, side sessions, and you know I would make more in one day than I did in a week. You wow. know, seven. So it's like you know I'm gonna try right. this music thing. I'm gonna try this right. music thing, and I never stopped. Smart move. I never stopped. Never stopped. Yes, and then he formed really the band. Little... I was in the band, and then. You know, and so on, and so on, and so on. And it's so just, I, I like it, it how you I like how you rolled over that. So James M. Tume, for for those young folks that don't know, he is a a legendary producer who worked with uh, I believe he worked with Miles Davis. Miles, Miles Davis, yes, yep, he did. Yep. And yes. uh, he is a is a mastermind uh, musically, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and Tawatha hooked up with James M. Tume, and then yeah. they formed this group called M. Tume. Yeah. Now, yeah. how did you guys hit off with that song, Juicy? Well, you know, Juicy was wasn't even on the first album. That was uh, right. it was on the second or third album. Right. So uh, we grew into that. You know, mm-hmm. it was a uh, look. That was his song. That's his right. song. I just sang it. <laughs> <laughs> I just sang it. But I didn't right. have a problem singing it. Right. Um, at that time, people thought it was risque. But you know, this, it's nothing compared to today. That's right. So, you got that I right. Mean, it, I mean, you got what, <laughs> and then you got. Juicy fruit. So, I mean, you know, so it's like, mm, yeah, no, right, right, right. <laughs> you can't even compare the two. So, That's right. um, but uh, uh, the band consisted of all um, the M2 made band consisted of players from uh, people who worked with Miles Davis. And then after Miles Davis, they worked with Roberta Flack. That was Roberta okay. Flack's band. Right. Uh, and then uh, when they left her, and Tume decided to start his own group, and it was the same, it was the same people. <laughs> so it's like, well, the if same you, crew kind of shifted they, from they, artist they, to artist, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So you know, you got to you have to be able to do more than one thing. So sure. that he started writing. He and his partner Reggie Lucas started writing songs, and um, they placed a song with uh, Roberta Flack, which, which was "The Closer I Get to You." Nice. And then they did "Back Together Again" with Donny Hathaway and Roberta Flack. And, and okay. this, and then we're doing our own thing, totally different from right. From that music, you know, full full out costumes and wings and butterflies. <laughs> and wings. And, I mean, fringe and I mean, it was, it was it was. Look, for me, it was uh, the most amazing thing because it's like I, that was the the first. That was the only band I've ever been in. You know, wow, most people do yeah. do local bands and singing clubs and so I never right. did that stuff. I, wow. I was only in a two may band. Well, listen, so, you Tawatha, so Tawatha kind of like. Goes past, uh, you know, all that but, other but, stuff. But, but you know, I didn't know I was Tawatha then. I be, I was becoming Tawatha. That's right. I was That's becoming right. Miss Ag. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's right. So you know, so yeah. and we would do shows, and there would be kids in the audience. Right. Miss Ag, Miss Ag. It's like, who is calling me? Because I'm in my costume and stuff and everything. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, it's one of my students from school. Wow. Really? <laughs> Why? <Wow. laughs> yeah. So I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it was it's, it was interesting. But now, um, did you sing background with um, uh, Roberta Flack as well? One time, once, okay. or she did something in I, I think it was Jamaica. That was the okay. only time I ever worked with Miss Flack. Um, mm-hmm. However, um, but the band worked with her. You know, it was basically her band. I was just there. It was it was um, Gwen Guthrie, uh, Brenda White, and myself. So all Jersey girls. You know. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so they worked with uh, Roberta ex- like exclusively. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when Ntume started writing, and then when it, when Ntume and Reggie got the production team going on, I had the opportunity to hire Brenda White and 
Gwen Guthrie to sing on the projects that Ntume uh -huh. and Reggie were producing. I know I'm I'm all over the place right now because oh. it, 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 it was it's so many things going on in between. So listen, when um, you legendary man, it's listen. You got legendary stories, and we got we got plenty of time. So go for it. Let me tell you, Ricardo. Uh -huh. I kept a bag packed at all times because I never <laughs> knew who was going to call me. For Are you work. serious? I'm serious. Wow. I'll I always, had, I always had that go bag ready, right, you know. Right. So, uh, so working with him, um, mm -hmm. uh, we did the first two albums. I think the third album was Juicy Fruit, the third album, okay. Juicy Fruit, and that's mm -hmm. the one that did. Whoosh, that's the right one to the that top. went right to the top. Right. And um, with the production projects that they were doing, other artists liked the sound mm -hmm. because he did a uh, uh, Phyllis Hyman, he did Stephanie Mills, um, and people liked that sound. And so right. they wanted the, those same singers. So they okay. would hire me to hire singers for their projects. So wow. I became wow. the contractor. Ah. And the contractor is the person who hires the people to sing. As yes. a matter of fact, yes. On our album, the M. Tume album, I hired Luther, Luther Vandross, to sing. Did you? At, at the time, he had a big commercial, a Juicy Fruit Gum commercial. I remember that. And I remember, it, yeah. And, uh, it's like, I want to get that guy. So I got <laughs> in touch with him, and okay. he agreed to come and, and sing. And we became mm -hmm. fast friends. And so when he started doing his solo stuff, he started calling me. Wow. I sang on his demo for Epic. I sang, I sang on the demo for Never Too Much. Really? Uh, the Never Too Much album. And uh, we did uh, Never Too Much, uh, Don't You Know That, okay. and You Stop Loving Me. So if you're a Luther fan, you know those songs. Absolutely. And, and they came out so well until he kept the, ref, the, the vocals that we had done, which were references, and he put them on the album. Unbelievable. So, and that and, really and happens. That re and I sang on every Luther album except one in 19, uh, two, one in 1983 because mm -hmm. Juicy Fruit had come out and we had to go on tour because the record was so big. Right. And then one other time it, 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 I was on tour with somebody else. Wow. Did yeah. you expect Juicy Fruit and um, You Mean He, did you expect it to go as big as it did? Or did you just say, you know what, I'm going to record this and I'm out of here. I got to go. I'll be back. And you know what? That's exactly what happened. When we did Juicy, uh, the album was finished, but it okay. called me. I was on tour with Brian Ferry and Roxy Music. I was in Europe for like wow. two months. And uh, uh, he called me and said, I got one more song. You got to come back and sing this one song. And okay. that song was Juicy Fruit. Wow. That was the last song. And wow. then I had to leave and go back out on tour. Okay. So. Uh, so when the record came out, he would call me to give me the updates on, on what was happening with Juicy Fruit. You know, it was like, it was in like the top 100, which means it was like number 99. <laughs> <laughs> it was number 99. It's like, right, oh right. man, are you kidding me? <laughs> and then, you know, it was 70, then it was right. 50, and then 30, 20, 10. He said, you're not going to believe it. The record is wow. number one. Get the record here. is number one. And I'm on my way back to New York singing with another band with Brian Ferry and Roxy Music right. at Radio City Music Hall. Wow. And they played Juicy Fruit during their intermission. Unbelievable. And, and, and he was there. And so he got a chance to hear it. And it was like, oh, my right. God, what? He said, they played it so much. He said, would you please ask him to stop playing? The record? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, after that, uh, you know, we went on tour. And as a matter of fact, the Juicy our Juicy Fruit tour was Marvin Gaye, um, Sexual Healing, yeah. the Isley Brothers, In Between the Sheets, and Juicy wow. Fruit. That was the tour. Wow. Marvin Gaye, the Isley Brothers, and the Tune. We opened for them. It was like, Unbelievable. oh my God, it's Marvin Gaye. Right. Oh my God, it's Ron <laughs> Isley. <laughs> you know, you hear yeah. them on the radio, but sure. you never, I never in, in my wildest dreams expected to see, I mean, actually <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's all right. See those yeah. people. Wow. Know, and, and be on stage with those people. It was amazing. I look. can't even imagine. I mean, just Marvin Gaye alone. Oh, oh legendary. Marvin Gaye. My favorite is uh, uh, I Want You, the album. Yes. I Want You. Yes. I think it came out in 1975 or 74, okay. 75. That's yep. my favorite. I've got it in cassette, in CD, and, yeah. and, and, and uh, vinyl. Uh, like like six or seven copies of it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this I mean, he, he was a, a musical genius, and a lot of people don't know. He was a pianist. I think he was classically trained. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I know he was he was a uh, very incredible fine on the pianos and the vocals, the multi tracking of the vocals. Uh, oh, it was amazing. Wow, it was wow. Amazing. And what was it like working with um, um, the Yazi Brothers? Being well, on that tour with Izzy Brothers you know, and you Marvin. know it was the Izzy Brothers, so they rolled hard. You know they came <laughs> in, and it's like, ooh, who's that? <laughs> right, well, right. Izzy Brothers, you could tell by the hats, you know, right, the right. hats and the suits. I mean, everybody was dressed in a suit, and uh, and and then when Marvin came in, you know, the, the waters parted, you know, because 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 <laughs> Jesus was coming. <laughs> you, you said the water. The waters parted. The water parted. Marvin, Marvin was coming. It's like that's deep. Oh. And yeah, that's just, that's deep. It don't it get no just, deeper than that. No, and it was naturally, you know, you, you didn't have to have security saying, you know, you know, move out of the way, blah blah right. blah. Because right. a lot of celebrities are like that. They don't want anybody in the hallways. It's like, wow, are you kidding? Yeah. It's just a hallway. Right. But with that's Marvin, right. you just, you know, you just automatically just, oh, unbelievable. Yeah, he he was, wow. he was great. He was great. Wow. Now yeah. you know. I, I gotta, you know, ask you these questions. There's so many things please. I want to ask you. I don't even know if we have, we probably have to do about three or four podcasts with your illustrious career, please. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Come on, come on, I'm ready. All right, all right. So I'm going to ask you about um, songwriting. Okay. You wrote, did you, you wrote for Stephanie Bills, I believe Stephanie and Teddy? I did. Which is wrote, one of my favorite songs. I wrote a song called Two Hearts. Two Hearts. Oh, Two Hearts. I love Man. that song. You know, initially, uh, yeah. it was just supposed to be for, it was a solo. And then M. Tume and Reggie decided that, uh, you know, that she should have a duet on the album. Right. So, um, you know, and I used to do the reference vocals for all the artists, you know, e each song that they were so, okay, let me, let me go back. Mm -hmm. With, with her, Reggie and M. Tume uh, and the, and the, and the M. Tume band, um, they said, okay, this project is coming up. So, um, everybody submits songs, and if they select your song, your song goes on the album. Wow! So oh. that's that's how generous they were, you know, because wow. it didn't have to be like that. So, that's right. um, so th for this particular project, they selected two hearts, and wow. it, you know, it was just a, it was a solo. But then they decided it was going to be a duet, and so with the reference vocal. He, they had Stephanie and myself go in to sing. Oh, wow. So you got these two little girls, because we're yeah, both yeah. like five, maybe five <laughs> feet tall, singing at the mic, singing right. their hearts out. And that was yeah. like the best time ever because she sang and I sang. I mean, I sang, I don't know who sang what part, but mm -hmm. we each sang because it was a duet. And it was the most amazing thing. And nobody can find the tape. Wow. I remember nobody, that song. I remember that like song because I, I grew up in Brooklyn. Stephanie grew okay. up in Brooklyn. I believe right. she went to the same high school, which is Erasmus Hall High School. Okay. And, um, you know, that song came out, I'm telling you. Let me tell you, Stephanie Mills is, for me, she is the best perform performer out there. It was Stephanie Mills and Phyllis Hyman. Yes. They were the best performers. I mean, they gave you a show. Show, sure, right? I mean, without all the the ten thousand dancers. I mean, it, that later de developed. It developed right. into a big production. But uh, hands down, Stephanie is the best performer ever. Wow. Yes, ever. she is. Ever. Incredible. And, and still got the voice. So powerhouse. Like, she's a powerhouse. She's a powerhouse. Yes, yes she, she is. is. Yes, yes she and is. And I'm, I'm just honored that that she sang my song. I had an opportunity to go to Symphony Hall. In Newark to downtown see Newark her, on Broad Street. Yeah, downtown Newark on Broad Street <laughs> to see her perform. Right. I had never heard the song performed before. And okay. that's like like my baby. Sure. And when I when I heard the song, I cried. I just cried. I said, like, that's my song. And you know, you can't tell anybody sitting next to you, that's right. my song. That's my song. Right. <laughs> and I just I had to keep it all inside. It's like, oh my God, she's singing my song and it sounds right. amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Now, did you do any writing for uh, Phyllis Hyman as well, the background vocals? I did. What well, we, we did, I did background vocals on all the songs, mm -hmm. on on all the projects. And uh, you know what? With Phyllis Hyman, uh, what uh, I, I wrote a song with uh, Hubert, Hubert Eve's uh, third. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 Really? Uh, yeah. On the Phyllis Hyman album. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, you know, there were so many projects. They had so many projects lined up. It was always we were always working. We were always in the studio. Right. And in when there was time off, I would go out on tour with other people. Right. You know. Wow. So, you know. So I mean, I worked with, um, uh, uh, well, like I said, Roxy Music was the first, mm -hmm. and that was the first time I had <clears throat> toured the, toured the world. Right. Because okay. they, you know, they were in Europe. They were everywhere. So. Sure. Um, I were Roxy music. And then it was, um, 
uh, Dave, the Dave Matthews Band, and then it was Lenny Kravitz, and right. and then of course it was Luther and Aretha, and uh, just it was boy is I have you know you know you say these names so freely they come out and I'm looking at you like incredible no it's you know what I I have such a charmed life I have such a blessed life it was like yes. I can't believe see see it's not work for me because I was doing what I loved right. And I'm still doing what I love. So exactly. it's like, what more can anybody ask for? That's what a, a lot of people really don't realize when they, um, they, they're out here working nine to five. And there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five because you got to do what you got to do. But you have to follow your passion. You got to follow your dreams. And that's one thing I've always admired about you. You always follow your dream. And you didn't let nobody get in your way. Nobody. And you know what? I think that was supposed to be. I was not supposed to find a full time position teaching right. in Newark because I had there was another path for me. That's and right. I, fo I followed the other path that was open to me. And that path has lasted for more than 30 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a couple of people I want to talk about. You know, okay. like I said, I, I need a couple of days. I mean, if I can just, I need a couple of months to just reference the songs that you sang. I will get to that later, but you okay. know, let's talk about, um, first of all, I saw you at the Kennedy Center, the honors, Kennedy Center oh. honors. Well, Incredible. For, for, for whom? For, uh, um, I think you were singing background for Aretha. I, I, no, I didn't do that one. No? No. Fonzie? No. It was you, Fonzie, and somebody, I forget who it was, but it, you were singing background, right. you and Fonzie. I, I've done like 10 Kennedy Center honors. Right. So, now, what uh, is that like singing at the Kennedy Center? Oh, my God. You know, the people are being honored. The president and the first lady are there. Yes. And it's like you look up in the balcony and you see the president and, mm -hmm. and whoever's being honored. Uh, and it's like, I can't believe I'm here. I mean, <laughs> a little girl from Newark, New Jersey, and just... With Yo Yo Ma and uh, John right. Williams, and it's like <gasps> incredible. <gasps> and and then because when you work on the Kennedy Center honors, you sing behind everybody. You sing behind everybody. It's not just one artist. Right. So uh, it's like mm 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 blessed. <laughs> now, see, everybody can't pull that off though. Everyone mm -hmm. usually oh. some singers, and there are a lot of great singers out there. I'm not taking nothing away from anybody, but everybody can't switch up. But you know, mm. I enjoy singing background okay. i don't have to be in the front right. i like i like the the background i like this to support the person in the front sure. that's 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 my favorite thing to do okay so uh you know and i and i like to be in charge and i like telling people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you say pass out those marching orders right <laughs> yeah, yes yes I get, get the girls together because they'll, they'll call me lenny lenny kravitz will call or dave matthews uh, Tawatha, uh, we're doing such and such. Can you get some girls together? And, right. you know, and it's, of course I can. Wow. You know, and, yeah. uh, you know, and then yeah, you do yeah. it. And then, and, and when I can't do it, I send somebody else. Right. But, you know, it's sure. still, still Miss Ag. you know what I mean? There you it's go. That, there you yeah. go. Get that hotline. You're the only one I know to carry the red phone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, with, with a G clef, with a G clef <laughs> on the handle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna get that. I like that idea. I like that idea. Now, yeah. now singing for um, Aretha, Miss mm. Aretha Franklin, Miss oh, Franklin. Um, I just watched the uh, documentary the other day, and, and I uh, thought about you. The 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 one with Cynthia. Yes. Aretha, yes. 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 Uh -huh. uh, it was mm -hmm. a great documentary. Mm -hmm. um, what hours. was it like working with Miss Aretha Franklin, the Ms. late Franklin. great Aretha Franklin? Now, let me tell you, when I was at Howard. I had a poster of Aretha in my dorm room. Really? And it's like, wow. I, you know, I knew, you already know all the songs. Cause you sure. know, cause it's like, I was listening to WNJR and uh, you know, back in the day and they would play Aretha and it's like, I would get all her, I had all her albums. I still have all her albums. Right. And it's like one day, it's not even that I wanted to sing with her. It's just that she was like, Right. The, she was truly, truly the queen. The queen. Yeah. I mean, that was there was no doubt that she was the queen when she walked right. into the room. It's like Miss Franklin. You know, we don't call her Aretha. That's Miss Franklin. Right. So uh, Aretha was the the best. I mean, yeah, she demanded a certain standard mm -hmm. of singer, just mm -hmm. like uh, like Luther did. As a matter of fact, I mm -hmm. got the job with Aretha because she wanted the singers that sang with Luther. Really? Yes. She wow. wanted, and, and sometimes she would get carried away and she would call us the Luther Vandross singers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> 
Exactly. She said, and the Luther Vandross singers. And it's like, That's no, 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 no. But that, 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 that was funny. That was funny. But yeah. to, to work with the queen was such an mm -hmm. honor. And uh, I, I I had the privilege of, of singing at her home going service too. So, you know, the, the longest funeral ever. I think wow. it was like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I did see that on television. It was like, yeah. it was 12 hours, but it was... The, she, she, <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was worth it. it yes. She was royalty. She was yes. definitely royalty. Yes. And it's an honor to have her name in my credit, you know? And it's like, I worked with her for 10 years as well as singing on albums that, uh, that Luther produced for her for the jump to it, which was, which they featured in the, uh, Cynthia Arrivo, uh, 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 Aretha, uh, bio. Okay. So, uh, you know, it, it was an honor and everybody can't say that. Everybody can't say they sang with Aretha, but everybody yeah. loves Aretha, everybody but, loves Aretha, but everybody yeah. can't say they sang with her. No, no. and I can, you ah. know, so, and so, and so it's like that memory is so precious to me, you know, and it, it was really... not easy. It was not yeah. easy. I'm because, sure. Because, you know, it was like, you know, it's, you know, you, when you're working for somebody, you got to follow right. the, the, their rules. You know sure, what I'm saying? Sure, so, sure. It's, um, now, when you looked at that picture, that photo of uh, Miss Franklin on the wall in your uh -huh. dorm room in Howard uh -huh. University, yes, did you really think in your wildest dreams that you would be singing background for Aretha Franklin? Never, never, never. So when, <laughs> so when I got the call for <laughs> to just to sing on the record, it was right. like, oh my God, do I still have that poster? But it was so long ago, you know, right. that poster's gone. I, as right. a matter of fact, I, I got it from a record store because it was on their display for Brantford Record Shop in Newark, New Jersey. And <laughs> on, on Brantford, Brantford Place, right, right, right off Place. of um, Main Street. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I, they gave me, they gave me the poster. It was the one where she had the short red afro and she had a, a fur, uh, right. a shawl on. And uh, that was it. That was it for me. That was the only thing on my wall. Wow. In my dorm room. Yeah, but Miss yeah. Miss Franklin was was all of that and a bag of chips. I can't I can't that. even imagine. I mean, you know. I mean, we did her Christmas we got Christmas album. She flew us out to Detroit to sing and just said and she, you know, she would have these great birthday parties at the, the big hotels in, in Manhattan. Oh, and wow. She would invite us and, and, and we weren't working. She would just invite us as people, not as wow, uh, yeah. you know, because she didn't sing at her own. Um, right, it's like extended family, you know. Yes, yes, yes. So that uh, that was lovely. Now, how long did you sing with Aretha? Uh, ten years. Really? But now, off and on for ten years. It's not like mm -hmm. I was the only. It, she had different sets of singers. Sure. She had her New York singers. She's had her Detroit singers. She had her L.A. singers. Okay. But you know, the Queen didn't like the fly. That's so. Right. <laughs> so wh wherever she was going, whoever was in the proximity, that's who she would use. Got it. Know. That it, makes it, sense. It, I, yeah, yeah. I heard about that, that she didn't like to fly. She had a tour bus and she would travel all across the country. She, yes, she did. Wow. Yes, she did. Now, we would fly, but she wouldn't fly. Right. Wouldn't fly. Yeah. Wow. Now, let's move on to Lenny Kravitz. How do you go from singing with Aretha Franklin to Lenny Kravitz? You know, um, I have, uh, with working with Mtume, um, all my work was by word of mouth. I never had mm -hmm. a manager, uh, anything. I never had a business card and I still don't have one. So it was like people hear, uh, the work that you've done and right. they know about your work ethic. They know about your work ethic. And right. so Lenny called me, of course he knew about Juicy Fruit. He knew, he, he knows his music history now. He's Oh, he's a history buff, music wow. history buff. Okay. So he said, yeah, I want to get that, that Juicy Fruit girl to sing, <laughs> you know. And so right. he got in touch with me and um, he said, can you get some girls to sing? Mm -hmm. uh, I, no, no, no. With, 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 with Lenny, he had, he had one other singer. He had a male singer, Savori. And then he needed uh, like two, me and another girl. And so, okay. and that was it. We did several tours. I mean, again, during Europe and in uh, 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 Brazil, and it was like, yeah, Lenny is Lenny's cool. Lenny is wow. Cool. Singing global with Lenny Kravitz must yeah. have been. Uh, yeah, and and it, you know, so rock and roll. You get to the soul. You know, you do the soul. You get the Mtume stuff. You right. Soul stuff with Luther and Aretha, and then you do the rock and roll with Lenny. Incredible. So it's like. Oh my God, what a life. Incredible. Thank you. Incredible. Like, what, what just happened, right? Yeah, <laughs> what, what just happened? happened? It's like, how did I get here? And it's like, yeah, oh my yeah. goodness. But, you know, it's all, it was all word of mouth. 
Mind blown. All word of mouth. Wow. And, and you know, the people that I work for, it's not that I just work for them once. They would right. call me again and again. It's not like maybe we would do two tours and then, you know, oh, they're going in another direction. And then they call me back like later. So it's like I always have a good working relationship with the people right. that I work for. Exactly. So you, you got you to gotta leave right so you can right. come back. There you if go. You, if you want to. Tell them to out them. If Educate you want them. To. Educate them. <laughs> And so I've been back with, uh, well, uh, with Lenny. Uh, I've been back with Dave Matthews. I mean, as a, you know, as a matter of fact, um, um, when was 9-11? When was 9-11? Uh, 2001. 2001. Mm -hmm. I was working with uh, Dave Matthews, like 2000, I mean, 1999, 2000. Okay. They were getting ready to go out on tour in 2001, but 9-11 happened. Ah. So that, that got squashed. So, um, and then... Like 10 years later, they call me. So, what are you doing? You, <laughs> like nothing some, happened. Yeah, like, can, can, you, can you get some girls together? We're going to do like a summer tour. Right. Can you, can you do that? Right. I got some girls together. And uh, and we did two tours. So, I mean, Incredible. that that's how I work. I mean, the people that I work for can always call me again. You know? And see, the young people got to realize this is way before there was Instagram. Oh, no Instagram. Way before oh, social media. No social Way media. Way before the internet. This, before this, the... Was a, this was a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, you know, the, right, the, right. the, the, the landline phone there call. There you go. There you yeah. go. There you go. With the rotary or, or the touch the tone. Rotary, well, no, we, I, well, at least I, I had touch tone. <laughs> <laughs> I was modern. <laughs> I had touch tone. But um, uh, the, the, um, it's all in how you, you know, you, I'm a support singer. That, yes. That's what I am in, in my heart. I'm a support singer. So yeah. I will support you with all that I have. Sure. And, you know, I'm not trying to show out. I'm not trying to make people see me. I, like, right. I blend in with, what, with the band, right. and, and, that's, and that's all they want. They're not, right. They don't want anybody who's trying to be the next uh, American Idol. That's, right. That's not it. That, that's, another, that's another lane. My see, lane but is you, the, you built that rapport, and, and that's what I, I try to tell a lot of young folks. Once you build a rapport with someone, they're going to call you back. Well, that's true. That's true. You know? and you, if you, They will call you back if your work is good. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, you got to be, you have to be able to get along with people. You, you, you know, you just, and you have to work hard. And every, look, no one works mm -hmm. harder than Lenny Kravitz and Dave Matthews. I mean, because they, they have a reputation to maintain. Sure. You know what sure. I mean? That, that's why they've been around so long. And then, they, and nice. they, their focus, the focus is the music. It's all about the music. It's not right. about the individuals. It's about the music as a whole. And right. so that's why, that's why all those people are so successful. Well, you see, I'm going to say, if you don't mind, I'm going to say it publicly. We talked about before we came on, I'm going to use this analogy. Okay. You know, every little boy uh -huh. wants to be a man, yes. but every man can't be a gentleman. Mm. And every little girl wants to be a woman, but mm -hmm. every woman can't be a lady. And that's, like I said, you are the lady of music. Forget about oh. soul and anything else. You're the lady of music. Well, I appreciate that so much. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored that you would say that. I'm hey, honored. you know, I, I only speak the truth. I only oh. speak the truth. So we got to talk about um, the next wonderful, uh, there's so many people, like I said, there's not enough time. I don't even think there's enough internet space to cover your, your interview. So we have to do this in like bits and pieces, you know, a part here, a part or there. One, or two, yes, yes. The second but, part, third part, right. yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about um, the wonderful, late, great Luther Vandross. Um, uh. Luther was an incredible, incredible um, person. Yes. He was an incredible vocalist, songwriter. Um, you and I both know Nat and Kevin, and uh, you yes. work with Kevin. And, you know, working with Nat, Nat, is, uh, Nat and I had our, our moments at Starbucks up there in Livingston on Route 10. <laughs> and he, would, he was writing out scores on, right. on, uh, on Starbucks napkins, which I never understood that one. <laughs> well, Nat, you know, that's Nat. <laughs> yeah, Nat is... <laughs> Nat he, is a unique. <laughs> he's, he, he, he looks at the piano and he writes this. I'm like, how did you do that? Man? Oh. Right. He, no, it's no. like, doesn't everybody do this? That's right. He, that's no. right. He's looking at me like I'm foreign. <laughs> no, no, they <I> don't. <laughs> but what was it like working with um, Luther Vandross and singing with um, the greats, as far as like Kevin and, and Lisa Fisher and, and uh, what was? Uh, well, you know, I was there before they got there. Yes, yes. So yes, with yes. Luther, I'm trying to squeeze that in, but. <laughs> I was there before. That that wait, was the wait. next. That was the next round. Did you said the next batch. <laughs> that was the next batch. <laughs> that was the next batch of cooking. Right, right. 
with Luther, like I said, I sang on his demo and it was it was uh, Philip Ballou, it was Fonzie Thornton, yes. Brenda White, and mm -hmm. myself. We right. were the like the, the, the original. First, the, uh, when when Luther was a solo artist. Now Luther had a group called Luther, which was other people, but I I don't know them. I don't know. Okay. Them. All I know is about w what I did. Sure. And, sure. Um, uh, Luther was the best. I mean, he demand Luther knew exactly what he wanted. He knew exactly right. what he wanted to hear. He knew exactly how he wanted us to look. Mm -hmm. what, before we went out on stage, he would check nails, feet, hair, everything, everything. Wow. So he was a perfectionist, Yes. but he loved the music and we had so much fun. It, w working with Luther was just fun. Okay. It was just fun. It's just, it just happened and all his songs were hits. You right. know, That's but right. we had so much fun in the studio. Um, it was, um, it was, we, I think we laughed more than we sang. Wow. Because, you know, he yeah. was hilarious. He was very hilarious, even though right. he knew exactly when, when it was time to work, we worked. But when okay. it was break time, oh my God, you know, right. it, it, everything just broke loose. But um, Luther was uh, the, the best. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I say I got my training from Luther. It's, a, a, you know, about the appearance. I mean, sure. You know uh, how how you're supposed to look on stage. Not that uh, not the ball gown thing. I'm just talking about um, just right. just having your 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 act together to be presented on stage. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and uh, and and have those vocals tight because he knew exactly what he wanted. And but he would also give us liberties to put little things in between. Right. So it's like, you know, I like this guy. This guy was. Well, let me tell you, Tawatha, the vocals. And, and, I, and I've said this to Kevin, well, Kevin and I, we talked about this many times, but I'm going to tell uh -huh. you something. And in, in every concert I've ever been to, I've never heard background vocals sound just as good, if not better than the record. Oh, absolutely. Which you is know, incredible. Because he had, um, uh, originally, it was just, when he didn't have the budget, it was just like four singers. Right. You know, you know. Sure. But, but as he as he uh, became more successful, he mm -hmm. added more singers. Then he had singers in the pit. I would sing in the pit. Right. And... Be oh, because, and I'll tell you why, uh, I, okay. I sang in the pit and then he had, like, he had Kevin, he had Alpha, he had yes. Lisa and uh, Ava on stage. Ava uh, Cherry, yep. Ava mm -hmm. Cherry. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when Luther was uh, looking for uh, singers for his show, um, I called his manager and said, look, look, I want to audition. And he said, oh, how tall are you? And mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm five, two. I, I stretched it a bit. I'm five, two. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, Luther has a height requirement. So in order to be on stage, you had to be a certain height. Okay. And so, you know, I knew Luther. I called him. I said, you got to be a certain height to sing with you. Mm -hmm. He said, what are you talking about? No, no, but for stage, he wanted, for appearance, he sure. had to have a certain look. But right. he also had like four people in the pit. So right. that's why when you heard those vocals, it was like mm -hmm. the record. Because he had like eight people singing. Wow. You know? And then, yeah. and it depend on, depending on the song, sometimes he would be on stage by himself and everybody would be, you know, just singing behind him. Sure. But we were sitting on stools in the pit singing. So, wow. but the, the first couple of years, it was uh it was different but I, like i said but as the budget expanded you know right. his his vision expanded then you know you had the ball gowns and and you know yeah. just the, the the amazing choreography and right. you know and that's when he you know it was like a, a vegas show wow you know, yeah for, yeah. for, for people. I Kevin, mean, told me about that $40,000 jacket he had on. I said, $40,000 for a jacket? Look, it was like, <sighs> yes, yes. And then, okay, they had those clothes on. That was the, the main people on stage. Right. But then the people in the pit were also dressed to the nines. Wow. Now, we didn't have on, we didn't have on, like, the $40,000 jacket, <laughs> of course. But, right, um, right. but everybody, everybody looked good. Everybody looked good. Incredible. So Luther, Luther was a joy to work with. I'm and, sure. And that's another great name to put in the body of work. On the Absolutely. Resume, you know, and I learned a lot from him. I learned, I learned a lot from Luther about how to work with other people, you okay. know, and how, you know, how things should go when you're working with other artists. So, you know, he was, he was so cool. I, I miss him a lot. I miss him. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. He, he was, was a, he was a great guy. Um, yes, he was. just, I mean, bless him, you know, when you talk about background vocals, and I know your forte is background because mm -hmm. that's that's your thing and it works. And yeah. you, you've been working it for a long, long time. Yeah. And look, look, and you've been working it without Instagram, so. <laughs> <laughs> look, 
look, I just got, I just, I just got on social media like 20, 2018 or something. Are you serious? <laughs> Maybe maybe 2016. I don't know. Wow, 2016. Wow. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's like, hey. Yeah, it's like, eh. Hey, uh, uh, well, do I really need that now? Right. I mean, but you know, yeah, I, yeah. I post every now and again. I'm, but you know, I got a nice website to wathaag.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really nice and it tells my story. So okay. it's, it's there for all to see. You know? Right. Yeah. Now, um, I need to ask you about, and I know you were saying, I believe it's over, was it 1,000, 2,000? It may be ten thousand. It's a lot. Oh, well, I don't know about that, but it's 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 more than a thousand. That's for sure. A thousand songs. And don't ask me what they are. Oh no, because no. it's like no. Over the years, you know, it just adds up. Well, every song that I can possibly think of, every hit song, and not just a song. So you're being real modest. I like that though. You're being real modest about it. But Yay. every hit song that I've heard on. WBLS. I was very good friends with Vaughn Hopper. Um, oh, I yes. Vaughn. Yeah, Vaughn and oh, I were very God. close. Oh, oh, my God. We'll yeah, talk Vaughn. about that when we get off. But, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, Vaughn and I were talking and, uh, one day, and I heard one of your songs. I'm like, wow. And mm -hmm. he said, Tawatha only sings on hits, man. That's what he talking <laughs> Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's, it's not like you know when you're no. when you're doing it. You don't know when you're. You doing don't know. It. And then see, the problem was with so many younger artists. They have this notion when they go into the studio, everything is going to be a hit. Oh, you know, I see. I never looked at it that way. I just looked at it as a job, and like when is the check coming in? And if and it, <laughs> right, right. And, and to make sure you know, with a union job, blah blah blah. And sure. if it did well, then I would just keep track of it. Right. But, you know, you do a lot of songs that people never heard, you know, because a lot of people, right. you know, don't get the opportunity to have their things on air. Because, mm -hmm. And like like you were saying, there was no social media. No. So there was you, you couldn't just put it out on YouTube, you know, because right. it, that it wasn't there. You know, you couldn't put it out on Instagram or Facebook right. or whatever, Spotify, because none of that existed. None wow. That existed at the now, time. what do you tell somebody, a young person that's looking to get into the music business and they want to be this hardcore um, lead vocalists and they f they realize, you know what, it may not be the right direction for you. You may want to try a different path. How do you, how do you answer that question to a young person that say, Hey, Mr. Watha AG, Hey, listen, mm -hmm. I want to get into the music business. I what do I need to do? I want to be a star. I want to be a star. I want to be on the walk a, of fame. I want to be a star. You know what? It's like, no, I want to get paid. I want, right. to make, I want to make a living to be able to support myself, right. you know, uh, right. but that's just me. I mean, cause you, you never have to see my name. When right. Juicy Fruit came out, I couldn't walk down the street. I could not because, hey, Juicy. Oh, I mean, it was like, oh, my goodness. This is, this is, uh, okay. It's, oof. And that was just, hey, Juicy. Yeah, hey, Juicy. That's, that's going to be on my, my tombstone, my headstone. Uh, here lies Juicy. No, here lies, hey, Juicy. <laughs> hey, Juicy. No, the original, hey, Juicy. <laughs> oh, but, you know, man. Every, you know, people, people just want to start at the top. You know, right, right. Um, I I came up, uh, you know, like listening to Gladys and, mm -hmm. and Patty and uh, Aretha and the Supremes. And so I stand on the shoulders of women that came before me. Right. Uh, some people just want to just jump out there and like, I don't need no shoulder to stand on. Right. I'm just I'm a, I'm I'm all that. And it's like, right. I don't know. That doesn't work for me. I mean, I hope it can work for you, but right. you have to be able to deal with disappointment. Mm. just in case it doesn't work out, what are you going to do? Right. What are you going to do? You know? So uh, my right. thing is to just start wherever you can and, and build on it, you know, build relationships and not just right. come in and say, I, you know, every now and then it really happens with this. It, there's an overnight success, right. but more often than not, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Absolutely. And I mean, I hope that I wish that for whoever, you know, right. if you can. And just, also, you know, to author the, the, the music business side of it, you know, a lot of a lot of young people just don't understand the business because music has changed. It's evolved from wax to CDs to cassette. Right. Now everything is streaming. Yes. And people really don't understand the business side of it. As far as like you said, being a member of the union. Yes. How do you become a member of the union? How does that even work? Uh, you have to call them up and say, "I want to sign." <laughs> <laughs> because uh, with the with the union, uh, but you have to earn X amount of dollars to to get in the union. I think it. with SAG after it has to be like maybe fifteen, twenty thousand dollars But how are you going to make that kind of money to mm -hmm. join if there's, there's no work? 
You right. know, when right. I started, it was it was just like a couple of hundred dollars. And 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 when I started, they you could work and they would take money out of your check for 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 union dues. Makes sense. But they don't they don't they don't do that now. Now you just got it's it's to, it's it's all it's way different now. But wow. with when you have a union, you have health insurance. Yes. You know, which is you, you're going to need, even though, you know, you, you're 20 something and you think you're never going to get sick. And it's like, I'm cool. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm invincible. It's like, <laughs> you're, you're going to need health insurance. <laughs> you get health, you get dental, you know, you we need, all going to get sick one time. You at know, one time or another. One point in time, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, and with the union, they check to make sure that your money is correct. Okay. And then they, they, they keep a record of all the work that you've done. So in case you work, you did a job for somebody and you haven't gotten your check yet, all you got to do is call the union and say, has the money come in for, for Joe Blow's job? You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, for, yeah. for, you know, so, and then, sure. and then they'll check on it for you. So you yeah. don't have to do it. Now, also with like, you had the publishing and writing ASCAP and BMI. Are you a member of ASCAP or BMI? Uh, BMI. BMI. Yeah. See, that's where all the song right. That's where all the hit writers go. See? See? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've been I've been fortunate. I've been fortunate. Yeah. Been fortunate, yeah. yeah. Now, okay. what what is your favorite? And this is a really broad question. And, and I, I don't even know if you're going to answer this question or not. But what is your favorite song that you've actually sang background for? Oh, let's do this. Not one. I'm sorry. When, when somebody is saying for over a thousand songs, let's just pick. Um, Three. Okay. Um, there was a, a Dave Matthews song called Stay. I remember. There that. was um, a Dave Matthews Stay. Oh, a Luther doing Aretha Jump to It. And I um, yeah. and uh, what was the other song? Oh, my God. Uh, no, not that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, that there was an Tume song. Mm -hmm. um, okay, it, it's more than one. Uh, there was one called So You Want to Be a Star. Okay. And then there was one called We're Going to Make It This Time, which was on like the very first album. Okay. So, I mean, that's that was just like songs that I like to sing, not right. necessarily songs that were successful. Right. You know, so, I mean, I, I have my favorites, but then I have favorites for different reasons. You know, right. it's like, well, I like the bridge in this song, but I like the hook in this song. I like this phrase in the first verse, right. uh, and but I can't use the rest of the song. But, you know, so yeah. it, it's, 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 it's nitpicking. So it's, there's sure. not like one favorite, favorite song. Right. But being, you know, accessible um, and having the ability to sing for so many people and have created so many hits, mm -hmm. you know, because your voice is a staple in the music world. I'm not going to say R&B. Mm -hmm. in the music world because you've covered all genres. Can and I tell you something? Sure, Can I absolutely. Tell you something? Mm -hmm. I got um, a, an email from someone who looked at my website, right? So they, mm -hmm. they got in touch with me. Okay. And they said, are you singing on um, on a Colgate commercial? Because they're, they're in Europe. Wow. It's like, it's like, no, I'm not singing. He said, no, they said, I hear you. <laughs> In this, in this, in this commercial, it right. wasn't, it wasn't the lead. It was in the group. So they sent ah. me a, a YouTube link of the, of the commercial. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, that's me in there, but it's in Europe. And so what am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? There's no union in Europe. You know what I mean? The union right, is in right. the States. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You can't, can't cover overseas. You can't, right? you can't cover overseas. Yeah. yeah, so, it's yeah. Like, so somebody lifted something that I had done uh, with, with another group and they put it in, in a, in a commercial. So okay. it's like, you know, things like that happen. So mm, what can you do? Legendary. Well, yeah. I got to ask you, I mean, there's so many things I want to ask you and I don't want to bore you with, with I don't want to uh, bore, I don't wanna bore you, you with you my <laughs> troubles. All right now, all right, There's boy. something about your love. love. Uh-oh, gone to our <laughs> It makes me what? We, we can. Knocks, knocks me, me off, off my, feet. my feet. There we go, there we go. <laughs> look, do look, it, do it. look, we're going to get a call from Stevie. Listen. <laughs> Can't sing, my, can't sing my song. I'm sorry. You got to pay me. Sorry. Stevie ain't calling me. Oh, man. No, me either. <laughs> but I got to ask you um, one more music question. I mean, there's so many. Wow. I, and I was trying to get prepared for this interview. 
but it, it was too many things. How do you prepare for? <laughs> No, I'm being, I'm being honest. Like, how do you, you it's almost like, I feel like I was back in school. I'm yeah. Going to, I know, I know. Just, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Let, I, let I know your work. This. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know your work. I know your sound. Yes. You've been everywhere. And it's like, how do you sit down and talk to somebody that has um, the talent that you have, which you have blessed the world with? And I thank God for your parents and um, for your um just staying focused in your craft because mm -hmm. you have changed a lot of lives. I believe so. Really? Yeah, oh. absolutely. 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 Yeah. But I want to know, you know, and I'm sure other people want to know, because I know uh -huh. you ain't got no time. You get ready to cut out. Tell me what's next for Tawatha. Well, you know, and in 2019, mm -hmm. I did another world tour with Brian Ferry. Oh, okay. Uh, and they were inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2019. Okay. So I had a chance to perform with them, uh, you know, at, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I had a, and I don't use, I don't, I don't talk about myself that much, but I had to step out and got a standing ovation wow. at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So it's like, wow. that was quite memorable because I'd never done that before. Okay. Uh, in 2020, I did a, a part of a soundtrack to a movie about the queen, which should be coming out. I don't know if it's coming out this year or, or next year with, okay. uh, uh, I can't even say her name because we're not supposed to talk about it. Um, right. with another great singer playing sure. the lead and, sure. uh, and, and just, a, uh, last week I did pass the mic with DJ Cassidy. Yes. And that will, if that was in Tume, um, uh, and that's coming out, I believe on Mother's Day. Okay. So, so I've been, you know, the, 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 uh, pandemic has confined a lot of people. Sure. Um, cause I, I can't, I can either work at home. I, I don't want to go to a studio just yet. Sure. Absolutely. You know? yeah. So, um, so I've been doing choice things, choice okay. things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now it's, it's time. It's, I've been singing a long time. I've been singing right. a long time. And, and you know, it, it, the, the new crop of singers have come up and they're yes. really, really good. So it's like, I, you know, I have to pass the baton, you know. Listen, listen your, baton is going, baton. your baton is going into the Songwriters <laughs> Hall of Fame in the, uh, the Library of Congress. Your, your baton can't be passed. <laughs> Well, I'll just, I'll just wave it. I'll just wave it. There you it. go. There you go. I'm not like, like it in the in Olympics. Just... Hand. Yeah, I'll just wave it. I'm not putting it in the other hand. It's that's just right. Like, that's right. Just, here you go. <laughs> so that, that's the last thing I did was a, a pass the mic. But okay. um, um, it's, you know, right through here, work is slow. But I've done so much. Right. I've done so much work until I can't even complain. Take I can't break. complain. Take I take break. a break. And you know what? Yeah. And it's, it's not that I pursue these things. These things always come to me. These right. things always come to me. Sure, sure. So um, it's just, uh, that's how it's always been with me. I never pursued right. it. It pursued me. So right. you have to be open for what's coming to you. And okay. so I'm still, I'm, I'm still open to whatever. Sure, sure. You know. And any new music coming up with the walk? <gasps> Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. And right. and I are working on something nice. right now. Okay. Right now. Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be really nice. That's good. You know, not not an album with seventeen songs on it. No. Right. Nothing right. like that. It's like, oh please. No. No. <laughs> but uh no no no. But, that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. That's that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> seventeen songs. Who right. oh my god. Who's gonna listen to seventeen? In this day and age, right? Because everything is one song swipe, one song swipe. One song swipe, right, right, right. right. So um, uh, that I do have some new music coming up. So, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'll still be around. I'll pop in and out. I'll pop in and out. You just have to look for me. You'll you'll, you'll see it when it comes out. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'll, I'll we'll talk about that later. Okay. But um, I have to say before you leave, um, oh, I have, um, and I'm telling you this is personally. I've been encouraged and inspired by you. Oh and I want God. you to know that you are blessed and highly favored. Highly oh, you know favored. what? I, I I appreciate that. And I Absolutely. realize that. I realize that this thing, this thing called life, man, for me has been, it's been great. It's been, right. I couldn't ask for anything better. Okay. So um, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy. That's good. That's good. Uh, and I'm happy. And, and, and when I'm gone, I, I will have left a body of work. 
Right. That people can look at and say, oh, my goodness, I didn't know she did Sting. I didn't know she did uh, uh, the, the Vaughn Brothers, you know. Wait, 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 before we, wait, wait, before you leave, Sting. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, my God, Sting. Don't ask me how I got the job. Somebody just called me. And I said, <laughs> yes. And, uh, and he, it was a song. It, it, the album was called Brand New Day. And, and Stevie was there. Stevie mm -hmm. appeared on the song and he had oh. all these good, the New York singers. And right. it was like, that was, it was, that was a great day. That was a great day. And he was Incredible. a lovely person, a lovely person. And you uh, worked with Stevie as well, right? Uh, yes, I have. And let me, okay. I, I have to look at my, um, okay. My discography. Look, look, look. Uh, <laughs> Hudson, listen, listen, while everybody's waiting, I'm going to tell you something. Hudson's discography is so big, we had to reach out to the Library of Congress. <laughs> 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 we had to call the Library of Congress and say, listen, uh, we need we need uh, one of those billfolds of Tawatha's songs because that's how many songs you've recorded, which is I've incredible. I've worked with Stevie with, with, with uh, Sting. Okay. Um, and, and actually... Years ago, because Angela, well, um, this is going back to, to Howard. Right. Um, Angela went to L.A. to work with Stevie because he had he's going to have a group called Wonder Love. Yes. And so yes. he sent for her to go out there, and I went to visit her, mm -hmm. and uh, and I met him there, and then I met him again when I did this thing thing, like maybe twenty years later. Wow. So wow. But, and he did he did a tour. He did a tour, and I was part of the choir that sang along with his background vocalist. Oh wow! So here in the in in New York and uh, New Jersey. Okay. So so you know, so I guess you yeah. could say I sang with Stevie. You sang yes. with Stevie. Yeah. Okay, so you sang with Stevie Sting. Uh, and I, I forgot about that because that's not even on my discography. See, you see. Because it's the reason why you forgot things. about it because uh, see, Tawatha has another vault next to the <laughs> next to the big vault. <laughs> In the, in the Library of Congress, so they had to, we had to make a second call and say, listen, um, can you, can you send over to the second vault? Well, we already had the first vault, which is over a thousand songs, a thousand plus. In I, have to, I have to update it. I just, that's incredible. You know, Al Green, Bruce Springsteen, um, uh, Laurie Anderson, Milton Nascimento, Dusty Springfield, Gerald LeVert, Barry Manilow, uh, David Bowie, Dionne Warwick, Annie Lennox, Blues Traveler, Joe Cocker, the Thompson Twins. I mean, Cheryl Lynn, Ray Charles. Wow. Uh, Ray Charles. And it's like, oh my God, it's right. Ray Charles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes working with Aretha, I couldn't right. believe that she was there sitting at the piano. Incredible. And sometimes she would sing me to tears. It was like, oh my God, this woman sounds so good. Wow. And, but then, then you know, but you're working. Come on, get it together. Cause right, you're working. Right. Snap you out know? of it, right? Yeah, snap out of it. The Jay Giles Band, Screedy Politi. Oh. Oh, Stephanie Sting, Brian, Steely Dan. Did I say Steely Dan? Did I mention Steely Dan? You can say it again. I did Steely Dan. I did like two or three tours with Steely Dan. Wow. Um, this, this great group called Chromio uh, that I love. That's my my new favorite group called okay. Chromio. And um, yeah, M. Tume, Luther, Dave Matthews, Lenny Kravitz. Incredible. Know. And there's somebody else that I left out and I just can't remember. See, that's right part now. of the first vault. So the next time you come back... <laughs> Hey, Tawatha, Tawatha, hey, Tawatha, the next time you come back, <laughs> we, you know how they have those guys when they go into court and they have the huge right, suitcases? Right, right, right. We're going to have right, one of those coming up here. Right, It's almost right. like when the president carries a football. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to have yeah. one of those things where they have to go get it, the ball. It'll be one of those moments. That's it'll right, with the combination. Yes, yes. And the yes, combination yes. say, listen, click, click, like, click, click. It's like, I did this. I didn't do this. Right. Yes, you did, ma'am. Uh, wow. Yes, you did, ma'am. Oh, I forgot. For so long, I mean... It's incredible. It's, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And like I said, all I know is that I can leave a body of work for maybe to inspire somebody else. Right. You know, uh, I know that things have changed now. There's social media and streaming sure. and stuff. But I mean, w we did all of this without social media. And that's you what know? makes so, it so unique. And, yeah. and so what you can do, what the next person can do should be more amazing. I'm you know. gonna to need to call the African American Museum in DC. In 20 <laughs> well, you minutes. know, our you name know, is not our name is not up on that wall with all those names up there. Our name is not up there. I and think um, they need to have a little extra space in this. Place absolutely, and I, and I think they need to have Tawatha Ag's name oh. embodied. It. I'm telling you, man, I, I can't stress this enough. I mean, you are the queen. That you know, Aretha Franklin 
was the no, queen of soul. She was the queen of soul. She That's right. absolutely. I, and I you mean, are the queen of music. Well, I mean, you know, I say what I, you will. I had my first voice lesson. Sissy Houston gave me my first voice lesson. Sissy and I went to the same church, New Hope Baptist. Oh, New Hope Baptist, right. That's right. Sussex and Die. That's Sussex right. Sussex and Die. And, it, and it's still there. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> off is. Of, off of 280. That's right. That's right. <laughs> No, look, down the tree from NJIT. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, I mean, it's like, I, it's the, the life has been yeah, yeah. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Because, it, like I said, I, I never sought out anything. Everything always it comes to me. So, you know, and I think this is how it was supposed to be. Absolutely, yeah. This is Did how you ever work with um, uh, Whitney? No, I never really? worked with Whitney. But really? when I was working with her mother in the studio, right. Whitney would come before she became a big star. Right. She would, she would, she was modeling, and she would come to the studio to meet her mother. And she said, "Oh, that's Nippy." I said, "Hi, Nippy." You know, everybody <laughs> standing there with their headphones on. Said, "Hey, that's Nippy." Hey, Nippy. You know, wow. So, yeah. Yeah. I, ne I never wow. had the opportunity, but yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. But what? Uh, now I'm talking about a voice. Oh my God, the voice yes. that everybody should know. Yes. And, sh sh you know, it's forever. Everybody should know that voice forever. She was forever. incredible. Absolutely. Incredible. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, so just, oh, I mean, it, there's no words. There's no words. No, because Sissy she, directs the, um, the choir at New Hope. Still? Well, she used to. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She had many, many, for, for many, many years. She's, yeah, she's for directed. a long time, yeah, she was yeah. like, the, like the, the choir director. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I got my little history on Newark. I know what's going I on see, down there. I <laughs> see. But, you know, sometimes you say these things and people just look at you because they they're not familiar with it. But but you know, so I can well, just so, mention you know, the, the Jersey stuff. You know? Yeah, they don't know about the Jersey stuff. They don't know about yeah. the New York stuff. No, they they don't know the history behind the history because you got to know where the queen of music came from and, and what she's all about. So she's she's got that voice that everybody knows. I don't know you, anybody on earth that doesn't know your music. And, you know, I just remember, because I've also done a lot of jingles for television. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, see, now you, now you load me up now. Come on, okay. hit the me with jingles. it. Go okay, okay. I, I, have to, I have to get my list. I'm Go sorry. for it. Listen, while she's getting okay. home, folks, while she's getting her list, Here's, I need to get a... Look, I, I need to get a laugh track going, or or, sorry, or the audience. I'm gonna put an audience track in there because she dug into the third vault that I didn't tell you guys about. See, it's this, it's the it's a Tawatha vault. Then it's the backup vault. Now she's got the jingle vault. The jingle vault. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, KFC, Burger King, uh, the soap commercials, Coca Cola, Coffee Mate, um, CVS, Dove, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, General Electric, General Motors, sh Shampoo. Uh, perfume, cat chow, <laughs> pizza hut. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, just a lot of things. So all of that was in between sessions and, and, and touring. Right. So, but not to the point where I was doing so many jingles. Luther asked me to go out on tour mm -hmm. and it's like, Luther, I can't do it. Cause I'm just, I, this, this jingle thing is just too good. That's right. <laughs> he said, I understand because he came from jingles. Yeah. He so the juicy fruit. So he didn't write juicy it, fruit, but well, he said he's saying juicy the juicy fruit, fruit gum, gum commercial. He's saying right. juicy fruit gum commercial, mm -hmm. so he understood. So, right. but he called me for every album. So it's like every album but two. Like I said, one in right. eighty three, I couldn't make it because I was on uh, Juicy Fruit was on. We were on tour with Juicy Fruit, mm -hmm. and another one I was on tour with somebody else. So, okay. um, wow, life is good. My life is truly wow. blessed, and you know. Ah, I'm telling you, I'm, what else? Did you not leave anything out? Let me listen, you, that. we got, listen, I got all the time oh, in the world. So. TV shows I've done. I've saw wait, 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 hold on to while, hold on one second. Ladies and gentlemen, we just tapped into the fourth vault. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this singer's life because you can't just do one thing. That's right. So, uh, you got to multitask. Done, you have to do that. And so uh, once again, no social media, no manager, no business card. I was doing Saturday Night Live, um, uh, sometimes on stage, but most of the time in the booth. What was so, that like? Uh, that is an all-day process. Um, it's from 11.30 a.m. until 1 a.m. on a Saturday. Really? Uh, and then, because, you know, mm. they're doing skits. They're constantly trying they're trying out skits. And mm. if it doesn't work, then, you know, people... <laughs> <laughs> the actors are, you know, well, you're dismissed right. or, or there's something that you're singing on is not going on the air. So, you know, right. but I would be singing in the booth, um, with, with, with other singers. And when the actors are like performing and singing, we would be singing with 
the people on stage, sure. but you would never see us. So we were called booth singers. I did that. I did David Letterman. Wow. I've done, um, what's the guy? Uh, uh, oh my God. Uh, De, uh, Leno, Jay Leno. Jay Leno. I did Jay Leno with Luther. And uh, also, uh, what's the guy with the, the with the roots? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon, yes. Uh, and so like, you know, I do, I do TV shows. Wow. So, you know, wow. and so my thing is you never have to see me, but I'm there. That's right. I'm there. So that's a lot right. of people want to be seen. I don't want to not... see that check. That's what you want to see. Is that <laughs> check. You never have to know my name. Right. If you, right. you wouldn't have, you know, unless you read liner notes. Right. You know, cause and you, know, know, you know, Tawatha, I know what it is, but could you please explain to, um, especially the younger audience, because we're in 10 countries, by the way. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Absolutely. We'll talk about right that, too. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all look like you're all over now. But I want to tell people that don't know, please tell people what, what liner notes are. Liner notes um, um, is usually, it was on the back of a vinyl album yes. or, or inside the sleeve and it was the information on who performed on each track and the track by when i say track i mean each song they listed the musicians they listed the singers they listed the arrangers right. uh and so that's how i would know who was singing on everything or, or who was playing on everything and it started with uh um let's see G uh gamble and huff philly international yes. philly international would always list their players because they had mf mf mfsb uh, MFSB. Yeah, yeah. And then they had the singers, Barbara, Carla, and somebody, I can't remember the third name, but it was the mm -hmm. three singers they would always use for everything. And so who are these ladies? I said, <laughs> I, I want, I want my, I want to see my name on liner notes like this. And, right. and lo and behold, that's what happened for me. Incredible. That's what happened for me. But Incredible. liner notes are, just gives you the information right. on the uh, project, on, on the album that you're listening to or the, right. the song or whatever you did you're listening sure, to. Sure. Now so you you, I that. think you have to pay extra on iTunes just to get the information and then it's not even what you want. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's like, oh man, why can't you just, you know, but see when, when the CDs came out, the, look, right. the print was getting so small, it's like, small. I can't Couldn't even see this. <laughs> and forget the cassette, well, the cassettes they don't even do anymore, but right. the DVD, the CDs and the DVDs, you can't even, I, I can't read it. So. Yeah, they just took away from um, that that excitement of, of right. I've cool. always I was always into the line of notes when I when I grew up in Brooklyn. Absolutely. And Absolutely. man, it's, it's nothing like laying down and reading the album cover, the stylistics, or, or, or right. Isley Brothers, and you look right. at who played what what a producer was. What does an arranger do? Right. Uh, because they didn't explain that. They didn't no. explain when you saw in the liner notes, ASCAP and BMI. Nobody knew what ASCAP and BMI was unless right. you were in the music business. You know? Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it was, it was, that was part of the learning experience, the learning experience and, and, you know, playing your, the music was the listening experience, but, sure. and, you know, you combine the two and, and then you start to envision what those people look like right. until you saw them on Soul Train or you saw them right. on like Don Kirshner's Midnight Special or right. something like that. Or, or the American Bandstand, remember or that? Or American Bandstand, right, right. I'm right. telling on my age now. Oh, you, I already told, I said Don Kirshner's rock concert. Come on. You're going to make me fall off my chair. You're going to make me fall off my chair. Oh, God. Oh, that's so funny. You took a wave. <laughs> I took it all the way you took, back. Like, you took like it back. Let's you go took it back to the, the end. Back. When the antennas broke over and you had the pliers and turned the knob. <laughs> and you had the foil on top of it. <laughs> when your mother used to call you from upstairs and tell you to come downstairs and change the channel. That's right. You know? something? <laughs> I said, but you're sitting right there. You're sitting right there. <laughs> so you oh, became the remote. <laughs> I was the remote. The remote before there was a remote. So, Incredible. Uh, you know, but Those the line of stories there. Yeah, liner notes meant everything because mm -hmm. I always want to know who was doing what. Right. Yeah. And now, what, I, I want to ask you is, how many gold and platinum records do you have? Ooh, I got a lot. So, I, I got okay, a lot. ladies and gentlemen, wait, wait, I got to get the drum roll because <laughs> now we're working on the fifth wall. <laughs> hey, two out the way. <laughs> I got so, a lot. 
and they're all in the closet because if you put them all up i had i used to have my 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 gold and platinum uh, uh yeah. records on the wall and my yeah. mother said this looks like a library wow <laughs> and so it's like <laughs> i took them down i took them down and now they're they're in the closet <laughs> wow <laughs> i mean we well, guess them at 800 oh, no. 900 oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, because, you know, there was a time when the right. artist would give you the gold and the platinum right. uh, d d uh, albums, mm -hmm. but then, then you had to buy them, you know, then it changed, then you had to buy them. It's like, well, I'm not, I'm not buying And that's it. if, that's even if you performed on the record, like if you sang vocals well, on a particular song. Right. If you sang vocals on an album, as I said, semi Luther stuff, um, uh, uh, we, we sang on the, we sang on the whole album. Sure. So we, he would give us a gold out. He would give us right. the gold or, or platinum album. Right. So it's right. like, Oh, thank you. Okay. Right. <laughs> Put it up on the wall. I was like, yeah, right. that's the work I've done, right. you know? So, um, but then a a after a time, uh, you had to purchase it yourself. The Incredible. artist stopped doing that, but it's just like, well, I'm not, I'm not buying it. Right, yeah, right, right. Just buying. cut me the check. <laughs> but I got, well, you see, you, you know, priorities. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> you, you know, I know what time it is. You listen. Because one you has know, to eat, one has to pay mortgage, and that's right. and the other bills. You that's know? right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I got, I got around fifteen, fifteen to twenty. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. That's not included the the fifth vault. The fifth vault there's about. <laughs> No, that's the fourth. That's the fourth. That's, that's the fourth vault. vault. Okay. That's the fourth vault. All right. Yeah, that's the fourth. All right. I see. I didn't All even right. think about it as vaults, but since Listen. you brought that to my attention, it's like it, okay. I'm right. just. I'm just saying. I'm just curious because you're giving, I mean, giving me ideas now. You, it's like, listen, okay. listen. You've been singing for a long, long time. What thirty yeah. plus? Right. Thirty, 30 plus, plus years. I've been. I've been singing professionally since 1976. See, I didn't want to go back that far, but being that you put it out there. Yeah, but I, I, I okay. I graduated from Howard in 1975. Right. Yeah. When I graduated from Howard, the mm -hmm. tuition was only seven hundred and fifty dollars. Are you kidding me? <laughs> seven hundred fifty a, se a semester. Wow, <laughs> that's how long ago I went. You can't through. even get books for that kind of money now. No, you Are can't. You no. no, 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 no. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Not even used. Not even used books. <laughs> So, you know, wow. th that was my time. And I think mm -hmm. that was supposed to be my time. Right. And, uh, and everything that's happened uh, to me and for me is because it was my time. Right. And like I said, I never sought anything out. I, I only auditioned for something twice. Okay. And, and I didn't get it. And it's like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Right, so, right. Uh, uh, so, and I, I didn't get the job. So it's like, I oh, forget that. And I still work. So, you know. right, right. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're, you're a staple in the music world and who, Absolutely. who, who would not call to Watha? I mean, come on. Well, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Nah, but, you know, if, if it's for me, uh, it's for me. Right. If it's not, because that's how I look at it. If I don't get the job, then it wasn't for me. Absolutely. You know, yeah. my, I'm not going to fall apart because I didn't get a job, you know. You got that thick skin. That's that Jersey skin right you there. Got, you got to have that. You <laughs> you got to be tough skin because, you know, because right. because first of all, you got to go in there. You got to discuss the business. Then yes. you got to learn that you got to make sure you the, the business is the, the money and you make sure your people get paid. And sure. then you got to learn the music and you got. So it's just, you know, and, you, right. you know, people say no and you got to accept rejection. And right. And then, but then in accepting rejection, you accept the accolades when right. it, when it happens so yeah. i think so many so many people you know they some artists uh, i won't say no names but mm -hmm. i i approached i was approached by well i spoke to michael jackson many many years ago back in 82 83 okay and he was approachable you know yes luther so luther backstage at ng mm -hmm. Pat, mm -hmm. very approachable mm -hmm. some people that are not on that level let me tell you are not approachable i have oh oh i know i can imagine mm. i'm like Talk I said to myself, yeah, oh, absolutely. And I said to myself, wait a minute, I don't spoke to Luther and all these different people. And, and Kevin and I were just talking about this. And, I said, I and myself, so why are you acting like this? Why? Like, who are you? Like, <laughs> listen, you don't have no vault. <laughs> right, right. Well, oh, they, they, might have, they might have a couple of vaults and think that, they, I don't understand that. Right. I don't understand that. Because, it's just you know, sad. Your talent is you're giving, you're right. giving, you're, you're, you're reaching somebody, you're making people feel certain things. You're making them feel good about themselves or they love Absolutely. your music and, you know, you take, transport them to another thing and and, and they love you for it. And mm -hmm. so why would, why should you be unapproachable? Right. Why should you be and, and it's sad, it's a sad world that we live in when somebody thinks yeah. that that far up in the sky, 
Because let me tell you, when yeah. I worked with Dave Matthews, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he would introduce the opening act every night. And we were playing in stadiums. Wow. So if he could do that. Right. You know, you could say hello. And and he, he walks up and down the street, like, with no bodyguards, no entourage. Right. And it's like, you know, he blends in with the crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just like, if he can do that, well, you know. Right. Why can't you be nice? You know, it doesn't it doesn't hurt anyone to be nice. Right. You Absolutely. Know. Absolutely. I you totally know. agree. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, I, you know, let's see. You I'm, trying to, figure out, I'm trying to figure out we got a sixth vault we can dig. Do you have a sixth vault? Let me Wallace? see. Let me see. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, uh, um, oh, I can tell you about my live performances. Oh, boy. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, sixth vault. <laughs> And like I told you, listen, listen, I got all day. I mean, I'm, I'm good. So, and you know, I, and I, I know you're going to edit this down. So, it's, it's, you know, listen, but, you know, uh, no, no. I, I mean, I want you. And I, like I said, I want the world. If they don't know. They should know. And they should be ashamed if they don't know who you are. But they know, definitely know your music. And I think it's very important to, to highlight mm -hmm. your career because you have a great career. And, and, and um, you're a great person. So oh, hit me. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So hit me with the sixth one. Okay. I did a net. Okay. I don't want the paper to be Netflix. Uh -oh. I did a Netflix variety special, A Very Murray Christmas, starring okay. Bill Murray, who used to be on Saturday Night Live. Yes. Uh, Stevie Wonder at the Prudential Center, Stevie Wonder at Madison Square Garden, Aretha at Radio City, Saturday Night Live with Taraji Henson. Uh, I did The Late Show with Stephen Colbert with Don Henley. Right. I did David Letterman with Aretha, Al Green, Darling Love, Shaka Khan, Dolly Parton, Peter Wolf, Florence and the Machine. I did The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon with Lady Gaga. I sang at the 121212 concert for Sandy Relief, which was this huge thing at, at uh, Madison Square Garden. And I sang with Roger Waters of Pink Floyd. Oh, wow. wow. And uh, um, what else did I do? Uh, I performed with Mick Jagger on Saturday Night Live. That was the season finale, but that was in the booth. So it's not okay. like I was on stage with him. So I right. can't, I, not that. I did the 30 Rock Live TV show season finale. Wow. Um, I performed with Anita Baker at Radio City, at the Kennedy Center Honors 2011, 12, and 13, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Saturday Night Live with Justin Timberlake, Tina Fey, Seth Meyers, and all of those performances were off camera. See, my Incredible. thing is, you don't have to be on camera. People don't have to see you. <laughs> That's right. They don't have to see you, but people, but then there's another school of thought that you have to be seen. Right, so, right. I'm of another but your work, school. your work speaks for itself. And that's why you just Ooh. read off a, a laundry list of, of um, yeah. accolades that most yeah. people would dream, please, just to sing with one. That, well, thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Praise God. That's Praise right. God. <laughs> Won't he do it? Won't he yes, do it? Yes, he will. That's right. That's yes, right. Yes, he will. All day. Oh, all, day all day, every day. So mm -hmm. it's just this. I can't even explain it. It's like, what a life, what a life. And I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah, it. Music I'm, royalty. I'm, I'm grateful for it. And I don't, I don't even look at it as royalty, but because mm -hmm. that's not for me to say, that's not for me to say. But that's you're for humble. To say. See, you're very humble. And I'm, I'm going to say, I know you ain't going to say it. I already I know you're not going to say it. If I wasn't, then I wouldn't have this. I that's wouldn't, right. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be, it, it and would that's be what, different. Right. And that's what makes you so unique because you don't really get caught up into the smoke screen. You're caught up into your work and your business and you handle your business. You go home, do what you got to do and keep it moving. There you and go. that's why you, you're still going. All well, these you know, I, and you know, I still got my chops. So, yeah. you know, uh, and, and, and I'm going to keep singing as long as I can. That's right. All. Whether wow. somebody calls me to sing or not, I'll still be singing. That well, I'll call you. Don't worry about I'll it. I'll be singing right. in my front yard. That's I'll all right. I'll, call, look, like, I'll be outside. Text you. Schwab, come outside. Listen, I got this one. <laughs> And I have Nat in the back seat. <laughs> and Nat, you're playing. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Tawab. I got that's you. That's right. That's right. I got you, Tawab. That, that, that's, that's his thing, too. Yo, yo. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick, yeah. man. So, I, you know, Nat's coming on the show. Oh, so okay. So, I, I told Kevin about it. Kevin says, Nat? Wow. I he said, I've never seen Nat do it. He, said, he said, Nat answered the phone. I said, yeah, he answered the phone. <laughs> so, 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 Kevin, it took Kevin about 15 minutes for it to click. Right. Because he right. said Nat doesn't do interviews. No. No. I said, well, I've known that a long, long time. He was on his way to Florida to, you know, see his mom because his mom yeah. was, um, was sick. But he said, mm -hmm. yeah, he said, Rick, don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. I said, okay. I was at Nat's home here in, in Jersey because mm -hmm. they, had, they had a cookout. 
a yes. few years ago and mm-hmm. all and all the singers came right. and it's like oh and we had a grand old time at right. that time. yeah yeah was, we were i was there when he lived down the hill oh okay i mean i know where he lives but you know you're not right, to talk right. about it offline but he right. uh when he lived down the hill Oh, okay. Okay. And, well, um, I was at the, I was at before the, he moved to the big, the big house. I, I was at the big house. He, you see, you, you went to the big McDonald's house. <laughs> I went to the big McDonald's house. Right. Right. <laughs> and, uh, it was so crazy because the, you know, the McMansion, the, the McMansion. McMansion. That's right. That's right. I said, Matt, I said, Matt, man, I said, what's going on? I mean, we had so many great times when I lived up in Jersey. Yeah. So many great times. Yeah. yeah but that is a funny guy. Cause I had, he had a birthday party. Uh huh. And mm-hmm. his house at the the house down the hill. Down the hill. Okay. And um, yeah, so we, uh, I went to Brooklyn and got him because I knew he liked Junior's cheesecakes. So oh. we got him a strawberry Junior's cheesecake, right? Oh Lord. That's and delicious. we ate and had a ball, <laughs> had a ball. The other but, house, I moved before he bought that house. Oh, but I, I see. remember when he bought the the, the big the, Mc, the, yeah, the the McMansion. Yeah, the, yeah. the McMansion. That's yeah. right. That's yes, right. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> McMansion. <The> big... <laughs> Because there's a lot of big mansions around there. Yes, you indeed. Know, there's a lot of big yes, mansions indeed. around there, and then uh, the South Orange area and stuff. Right, South, you know, sure, a lot. sure, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Essex County is incredible. Livingston, you know. Oh yeah. But um, yeah, I know, I know the area. I know, I know your work. I'm so excited to talk to you, and I really would like for you to come back on if you have time. I would love to do it. I would love to do it, but just as long as you know, we we get the schedules together, and it's it's. What cool. you got? Well, what you got to promise me is right now. now this is between you and me. Now the audience is gonna learn now. You me and you, 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 got, you, right, you right. me and the world. That's right. You me and the audience. Not you me and he. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta, but, you gotta promise me when you come back that you're gonna bring the eighth vault. I, you know what? I'm gonna. Because I know it's somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start looking for it today because it's here somewhere. <laughs> It's here somewhere. Listen, you I just got, have to sit you, down and think about it. <laughs> you've done so much work. It's it's mind blowing. Mind, when yeah. I tell you mind blowing, mind blowing, mind blowing. And you know the yeah. thing is, it's, it's so much work. And back in the day, you you didn't take pictures with these with the people right. that you work right. because it was like 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 we said, no social media. And Absolutely. now I just yeah. wish that yeah. there were there were photographs. So, right. but it's but they're they're up here. But you have memories. I have memories. And you have, and you got those plaques? I do. That's Even right. if they are in the, in the closet. In the vault. Yeah, in, in the vault. I'm sorry, in the vault. In the vault. In the vault. Look, I, I, and with in the vault combination number three, lock. Vault number, vault number three. three, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, it's, it's, I, I don't know how. Like, is it, uh, I know, well, I know the Library of Congress has that third vault, but do you have an actual vault in the house? No. With the plaques? <laughs> No, it's just a this little lock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a great it's a great man. You had a uh, um, I can't even begin to tell you the ride that you had, and I'm I'm so happy that um you took the time to talk to me. Right, I had so but much just, fun. Just for other people to know, yes, there, there was a great ride. There were a lot of highs, but there were also a lot of lows. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't like up here all the time. There were a lot of lows, and that's the misconception. That's a misconception. There's a lot of space in between some of those things. Right. So, but and that's when you have to learn how to like you know save your paper, save your money, and budget, and you know you know you can't you know I can't be carrying the latest whatever the bag the thirteen (laughs) thousand dollar Birkin bag. It's like, are you kidding me? Wait, did you say thirteen thousand dollars for a bag? Yeah. Because you know, well, I'll tell you all the day. <laughs> all right. Because <laughs> we know people who have them. <laughs> right. <laughs> we know people who have them. Like, thirteen thousand what, dollars. What do you put in a thirteen thousand dollar bag? Mm, mm, mm. That's amazing. That makes but no you sense. You know, that's 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 above my uh, that's above yeah. my my level. I can't. You see, in, in corporate America, they say that's above my pay grade. <laughs> that, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> You know, that is definitely above my pay grade, but it's that like, I, crazy. I, would be, I would be afraid to carry it. Right, right. I'd be afraid an ink stain would get on it. <laughs> or you lay it down and you turn around and it's gone, right? Or or you you you, you, you put it on your jeans and it fades, the color fades. <laughs> it's like, oh no. That's right. <laughs> It'll cost a thousand dollars to fix that. <laughs> but if you can get that, and right. then it's, you, you don't have a problem with right, doing right. those kind of things. You right. Know? You know. But a lot yeah. of people, um, tend to live this, um, I call it a Disneyland lifestyle. They want, mm-hmm. they want to project this lifestyle that doesn't exist. 
Well, uh, maybe they're trying to project the image that they want for themselves. Right. But but you know you got you have to pay for that image. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's you, you can't, right. It, it just doesn't happen. You just, you know, no matter how many people you know, eventually you're gonna have to you're gonna have that's to shell right. out some bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Some bucks. Yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, I I look. I'm like you said. I'm I try to be as I'm a modest person anyway. Right. Right. So I wouldn't even I wouldn't even entertain that. Right. It's like that's a car. That bag right. is of somebody's car. That's right. Look, you know, look, so if if how it was was it seven hundred dollars uh semester? Seven fifty, but that was in that was when it's nineteen seventy five. And they paying thirteen thousand dollars for a pocketbook. Well, you know, inflation and, and, and you got the money. Uh sure. you know. But if right. I if wow, I wish I could do that. But yeah. but I, I wouldn't, even if I right. could. I that's right. That's right. You know, that's I right. Yeah. I'm just I'm just like no 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 no. You better listen, I got too many vaults to protect. I don't have no time for that. There nonsense. you go. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put new doors new doors on the vault. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, to all the to all get new vault, new combination. <laughs> there you go. A new bring insulation. In the, bring in the locksmith and everybody else and just, you know, and, and hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's it's uh, I, I can't. I, I'm having so much fun with you, and it's it's just crazy that we um, cross paths with so many people that we both know, and um, it's a small small world. And I reached out to you. Oh, I love Robin Harris. He was oh he was incredible. Gone way too soon. Way too soon. I loved him. I went to a show and he was there. It's like mm -hmm. do not do not sit in the front. Nope, nope, don't sit in the front. <laughs> don't, don't sit where he can see you. Right, right. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want that. You know what I want to ask you? I, like, so many things like it just, just popped in my head. Um, what do you think about so many musicians and singers that have took that path of falling off? Like drugs. They just fell off. And it happens so many to so many musicians to so many singers, and it's always around that golden age of 50. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Mm -hmm. I have to, I have no I idea. asked myself that question just the other day, and I thought I about it. I have no idea. Cause and I know. thought about how your career has lasted so long. I mean, and you mm -hmm. sound the same. You sound as if you did when you first did Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> or you, you mean he or well let me other... tell you we, we had to change the key we had to drop the key a little bit because <laughs> i did some live dates and it's like oh i can't sing in here so can, <laughs> can we just look but but I, but you know technology is so right. until you can change the key sure. and everything is still still sounds that good so yeah um, yeah there's just so many great people that left here early that's that i was just curious uh, like what your take take one was it like you know just it's just it's crazy I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it, but mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. just like when it's your time, it's your time, but it's right. like, I, I don't want to exacerbate anything. Sure. You sure. know, yeah. you know, yeah. just, just find me at, at the microphone, like, the, you know, just <laughs> <laughs> trying to sing a song, one last song. <laughs> now, speaking of microphone, here we go. We got another question that's popped up. Um, do you have any particular type of microphone? Because I know they like the Neumann U87s. And is there any particular studio that you prefer to work in that you've worked in in the past? Or what, well, you your... know what? Oh, uh -huh. My favorite studio will be Sigma Sound because that's where Intume did all his work. Uh, Sigma Sound, which was based out of Philadelphia, and then mm -hmm. they moved to New York. I don't even know if they're still in the city or not. Okay. Yeah, it's, and and my, my microphone was an AKG 414. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that that was the one, and then we switched to Neumann. So, yes. uh, but the first one was the AK. My my first was the AKG four fourteen. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. And now, and I know people that carry their own microphones in a, in cases. Yeah. I have one in a case, and I'll show you one once we go. Uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I have a yeah. SE forty four hundred A. Actually, Hubert uh, put me onto it. It's a SE forty four hundred A. It looks just like the Neumann. Actually, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed, I got to call Hubert because we're supposed to be doing something together real soon. Okay. He's got a song he wants me to do. So, okay. Um, okay. You know, so, uh, you just mentioned, I just, I just remembered. Yeah. And then, cause he said, I just got this new microphone and I want you to try it out. <laughs> and so it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah, cause you know, yeah. I had to, I had to get my, my, you know, the vaccine vaccination, you know, had to make sure I had that before I do anything. Absolutely. So, I know. just got my second one, um, Saturday. I just got my second one Thursday. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't have a third eye 
or a third arm. So I'm, I'm okay so far. Yeah. Yeah. No, no side effects. I had no side effects from either, either a shot. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. My arm was a little sore. Yeah. Well, but, but you know, that's to be expected yeah. at, the, at the site of injection. That's, that's, that's to be ex- uh, expected. Mm-hmm. But other than that, no other, cause they call you every day to take right. this little, the, the survey, sure. uh, and just, uh, as, as a matter of fact, they called while, while we were talking and I had to turn the phone off. Okay. It's like, uh, yeah, but you know, and they check on you and it's like, well, okay, yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Any more questions? Well, listen, um, come on know. this guy. I know there's one. I know there's Let's at see. least one. Let's see. Um, okay. Here's one. What's your favorite piano? Do you have like Yamaha, Steinway? Or are you into? Oh, I Because I'm have... a gear guy. I love gear. Oh, you like gear? Yes. I wish I, wish I did. I don't because it takes up too much space. Okay. And I, I don't have a lot of space. Oh, well, gotcha. I don't have space for that. Gotcha. Um, okay. Look, the last thing I had oh, was, and I still have it in my basement. <laughs> 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 it was a, a, what was it called? A DK7? Oh, Yamaha DX7. DX7, DX7, yeah, yeah. That's the and, eighth and, ball. That's and it's the eighth still, ball. And it's still <laughs> in the basement in the case with the two made thing on the case. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, wow. you know, you know, and I, but, but now, um, I, I don't play. I don't mm-hmm. play anymore. So, hi. That's how that is. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> how you doing? I, I don't play. So, um, I have a, I got a, to if I get a job or something, I have to learn some music. I, I have a, like a little Casio that weighs like two pounds that gotcha. I can play. Yeah, oh, you know? okay. and yeah, and it, get, it gets a lot of sound on it. So, um, you know, all I need to do is accompany myself. You know, to learn to learn um, some music or something. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. I had Heather bring in my my case. This is my. Um, oh, that's you for your say. microphone. Yeah, that's my case. Okay. All right. right. And then. I see. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to be like you. Look, this is my vault. See, I don't have all a. Right. I don't have All a right. vault with a combination. It just has a. <laughs> it just got a little latch. Lock it just got it. a little latch. This is this is the microphone here. Oh, okay. okay. But I'll get it to you when we, when we get offline. Okay. I'll get All your right. picture and everything. Yeah. Yeah, because I I, I want to get a nice uh, setup for my for my place, but mm-hmm. it's like where to put it. You know, it's just I don't know where to put. it. Well, you it. know, you can do. I'm working on um, um, the MacBook Pro. Uh, yeah, I got. That's what I'm talking. And about. And I have about. a um, I have an Arturia. 61 key MIDI keyboard. Ooh. And I just ordered the Akai MPC Live 2. I'm right? scared of you. Yeah. And I just ordered the oh. um, Apogee, uh, was it Apogee Symphony audio interface? Okay. Yes. I, let me see what I have for my. Uh oh. Uh um, Now, uh-oh. ladies and gentlemen, she's going into the eighth ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a focus right. Um, focus right look it's, oh, still yeah. in the, it's still in the box okay look. nice focus right because oh, i was wow. I, I was setting up you know but right. i just haven't done it yet nice oh, yeah, yeah and that's yeah. been in my house we uh when i lived in jersey we uh uh-huh. i had a i also have a yamaha motif eight oh, okay yeah but i like oh. I, yeah i like the the so you uh, play you play absolutely i write and play and sing yeah see that's what i had oh yeah yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I think this I think this is the beginner's um, you know. Oh, thing. come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said the beginners. That's so that's funny. What be, that's what beginners use. <laughs> no, no, you know, I write, I play, I produce. Um Cuz um, I know you sing cuz I heard you sing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I write. Yeah. 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 Kevin and I we we're going to do some work together in April. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that we got to bring you nice. on. Yeah. 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 Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, all, <laughs> offline we'll we'll exchange. Yeah, okay. But um, Nat and I, Nat spoke to me. Uh, was it last week? Two weeks ago, Nat called me, <clears throat> and um, when I asked him about coming on the show, and he said, uh, he said, "Yeah, Rick, I'll do it." <laughs> I said, "I said, say that again." <laughs> yeah, confirm that, please. That's right. That's right. And when I told Kevin about it, he couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. So Nat, like... Nat and I, we're gonna um, work on some new material as well. Yeah, he okay. called me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Nat That's came to my right. house once before, and I had wrote something uh-huh. actually for Luther, and oh. Nat was producing it, and then unfortunately Luther got sick, and oh, that was wow. the end of that deal. Yeah, wow, yeah. Because wow. mm-hmm. you know, I sang on that last Luther project. Uh, as a matter yeah. of fact, we uh, Fonzie 
and I were Bonzi doing Thornton, uh, yeah. Bonzi Thornton and I mm-hmm. were doing uh, David Letterman. He got the call that that Luther had to wow. know, go to the hospital. Wow. Yeah. So wow. uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Small world, and the world gets smaller because the circle gets. You know, it's, it's well. Getting... The circle's so small and it's so tight. It's like yes. Yeah. You know, because you know, you and I both know people I've known for years, but I, you know, I never bumped into you. But, but um, we, but we never met. So until we today. Never met. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. See, when good people are good. And listen. There, there you go. Yeah. It'll, yeah. it will happen eventually. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I don't, I don't know what else, like, what do you ask a legend? I mean, it's, it's so hard to even have in my mind, just like the picture you had of Aretha. Mm-hmm. I had the picture of you in my mind back then when, when Juicy came out in M2 May. And, oh. Yeah, yeah. With and then the, when you, with the ponytail. With, with the, the ponytail. ponytail. <laughs> you was rocking that ponytail, though. <laughs> Listen, A2 Arthur, you was rocking that ponytail. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you. But wait a minute, and that was my hair. Now now everybody has, like, hair all down to the, yeah, no, all down to the to the ankles and stuff. But, uh. Hey, wait, you said. Because back then they didn't do all of that. Wait, you, you know? said to the ankles? To the ankles. You know, you seen those girls with the hair down. It's like, how do you sleep? <laughs> how do you sleep? How do you sit down? How do you, you know, Unbelievable. how do you go to the bathroom? That's what. <laughs> like, all that hair, you gotta like. <laughs> you gotta wrap it up in a towel. You gotta wrap it up in a towel. What kind of towel? <laughs> or you get like a sheet. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> I'll get your house coat and just like that's like, right, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm telling you, the things have changed so much, but uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm I'm enjoying the change. Not that I have to change with it. Absolutely, you know, you know, absolutely. I, I'm enjoying now, if, if you you said another question, I, I so many questions are popping in my head right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, by the way, everybody, this is unscripted. This is not. There's no no oh, questions totally written down. <laughs> we just having we just having a ball. I mean, because uh, I'm sitting here with um, the legendary Tawatha Ag, who has um, a career that only people would dream to have. Oh. And um, I got to ask you, if you had to choose a different career, mm-hmm. and if it wasn't music, what would it be? Oh, oh that's a deep one, there. Yeah. That's a deep one because yeah. I I can't even imagine life without music. Right. I can't even if, if that was if music would have to be my side thing. <clears throat> um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. Wow. I have yeah. No idea. Because right. you know, I like to I like to uh, help and inspire other people. Especially sure. other uh, young singers, Absolutely. you know, and uh, and I because you know they call me auntie, auntie, auntie Tawaka, <laughs> uh, uh, or, or twenty T, twenty, uh, uh, twenty. You know they put a T in front of the auntie. Right, right. So um, uh, I like to help them, you know, okay. and you know, along their path, sure. you know, because you know, like you, we were saying before, everybody wants to be like a star right away. Right. It's like mm, I don't know if that's gonna work. That doesn't right. work for everybody. That's like That's right. everybody trying to be a basketball star. There's only Absolutely. X amount of slots, you know, there's right. only X amount of slots. So right. I like to inspire other people and I, and I'm there for advice. You know, I'm okay. there for advice, but, but, but still that's not a paying thing. That's just right. something I want to do. Okay. I, I, I have no idea what I would do if it wasn't for the music. Okay. Well, I mentor, I used to mentor people at Morgan state. A lot oh, okay. of students at Morgan State University okay. in Baltimore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I like to, um, I'm working on something, a project. I'll tell you about that offline too. Okay. Um, where I want to ultimately build a school and mm-hmm. it's going to be called a STEAM school, not a STEM school. It's science, STEAM. technology, engineering, math, and music. Oh. And allow young people to have the ability to learn about the greats like yourself. Mm-hmm. living legends, not something that you read at a book and you right. really don't know the person to physically meet that person. Right. That's, that's a big thing for me. Yeah. Very important. That, that sounds, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. That's great. That, that, that's doable. That's, okay. that's doable. Okay. That's, that's very doable. Yeah. Um, it's just, uh, what I would want to do is like, I have no idea. You listen to what you know, I've been, I've been doing this for so long. To Wata, when and, you, you know, got, when you got eight balls, man, I mean, <laughs> When you got, I got to go one, of them, go on one of them doors and see what's going on. When you, when you got a Yamaha DX7 in the case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably rusted. It's probably rusted shut, you know. That's but, uh, incredible, incredible, it's incredible, in the case. incredible. It is in the case. Wow. In wow. the case, in the basement. Yep, right. Still there. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you want to set up, uh, I mean, we, we can talk about all this stuff too offline, but you want to set up a nice home. 
Home studio. Yeah. Okay. So in case, you know, if I do a session, I can do it from the house if I don't want to go in. Right. You know, if or if I can't go in. Sure. You sure. know, go into the studio. So, yeah, you yeah. know. Because let me tell you, when mm-hmm. you when they call you for a job right. uh, in a studio mm-hmm. and it's in Manhattan, you know, you got to drive from Jersey to Manhattan, pay a a $1,000 for parking, <laughs> you know, because you can't park on the street. No, and, and then no. it's like, you know, and it's like, oh, my God, right. it, it, to do the job, you, you have to at least cover the parking. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because you know, yeah, parking, parking is expensive in New York. Midtown, park, forget about it. Parking and and dinner. Right. It's got because if you can't come and there's no need to be coming if you can't do that. That's right. Because that's two three hundred dollars right there. Parking <laughs> and dinner. <laughs> there you go. And then if you got two jobs in one day, then you got all that time in between. It's like, oh, what am I going to do? Have you run into that where you actually worked like two different jobs at the same time, the same day, like in Manhattan, yeah, one downtown, one uptown? Yes, there used to be a time, you know, when when they had pagers. Yes, they had pagers. Yes. Um, I would be doing a job. I would be driving home, gone through the Lincoln Tunnel to get right. to to New Jersey. The pager would go off, and I'd have to turn around and come back into the city. Those were the good old days. Wow, Those when it was like what five six dollars to go through the tunnel? <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. And not like fourteen or I, I don't even know what. It oh, is. now it's got to be. I got easy pass. I think now, it's- so I- yeah, yeah, I think oh. it's like seven million. You get a couple of dollars off, and they're making you feel good. Oh, you get two dollars yeah. off the easy pass. I think it's like sixteen, seventeen dollars now. Yeah, so yeah it's up there. Yeah, but no, no. But see, I love to work, so uh, you know. And like I said, I and I've always wanted to be behind the scenes. Right. So to do something else, I don't know what that would be. I don't know what that would be. Because well, I don't know if the teaching would be the thing. Because I don't, I don't think I would want a classroom. It would have to be like a small, a, a small group. Of people, it would, right, you know, right. You know. Now, what about like your? Um, I'm just curious. I tell you, so many questions that hit me as I'm looking at you. I'm like, okay, I want to ask you this question. I want to ask you that question. Uh-huh. But I want to ask more so that people can really learn from sure. from your response. Um, what do you see as far as your songwriting method? What's the uh, what's the chemistry? How do you come up with the song? Like the great songs that you wrote for Stephanie Mills and. And well, let me tell you something. You wrote Two Hearts. Two Hearts was it for me. It was But everything. you know what? You know, sometimes songs mm-hmm. come quickly and sometimes mm-hmm. you labor over them. Two mm-hmm. Hearts was something that came very quick. Okay. You know, I presented uh, M2 May and Reggie with the, with, I had the verse, I had mm-hmm. the bridge, I had all the music done. Okay. Uh, but I couldn't come up with the hook. And then, you know, when I played it for them, they liked it. And so, you know, everybody's thinking, what's, what's the hook going to be? What's the hook going to be? Right. And they said, oh, two hearts. Oh, it's better. I mean, but I had everything else. So that, that song just came to me. And, but it doesn't happen like that all the time. But when you, so when you submit a song, you submit the song, you actually play. Oh, yeah. But back then, you know, I'm just playing on the piano. How did I mean, they, they say gone, girl? <laughs> I was just playing on the piano because then it's like, because then it was like a cassette. I mean, right, you know, you right, know. Right. and then, but they, then they would do this wonderful arrangement. So, but the song is still, it's still yours, you know? Right. So, um, yeah. but you know, I don't write as much as I used to. Um, and <laughs> I remember asking him too much. I said, why do you think I don't write? He said, because uh, you don't need to. I said, like, I can wow. take that. I can accept that answer. Okay. Because he wow. would say that songs are like uh, uh, 80% uh, perspiration and 20% yeah. inspiration. You know, for me, I had to be inspired. So okay. and then I could just go through it. But it's like I, I didn't have an interest in writing. Okay. I know a lot of people that do it and they do it every day. They do it like it's a nine to five. Sure, it's sure. like, mm, I can't do that. I can't wow. do that. I can't wow. do that. Or I'm not accustomed to that. Maybe if, yeah. I, if I were around a lot of people that did that, then... I would I would get into it. Okay. Because you know? if I'm working with a band, like when I worked with Dave Matthews, it's like stuff was coming to me all the time because everybody was so creative. It was right. just it was just in the air. It was just in the air. Wow. You know? wow. It's like, oh, what do you want? You know, because I did the uh, uh, I did all the uh, uh, vocal arrangements, the background really? vocal arrangements for for them. Yeah. And, wow. it, and it's like you know I would present it to Dave. This is this is how I think it should go. And he said, Oh, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it tonight. Right. Right. So right. you know, no that, questions. That that I can. No questions, no additions, you know. So, uh, but that, but they were free like that. They but I got to ask you, did Dave Matthews actually bow when you handed over those vocals to him? <laughs> <gasps> he, I got you. He I liked, got you. but he liked the work that I did. That's good. He, That's he good. liked the work that I did. Some compliment. You yeah. Know? I mean, because, for the bow, because I mean, you know, having you 
do the arrangements for him, I'm sure it was, was incredible. Right. And, it, and you know, and they already had something, it was already right. set, but they okay. weren't used to having background vocalists, Got you know, it. because he sang everything. And then ah. you know, the guys would sing along, but then when they brought female voices in, it just, it, it changed everything. And we had a lot of color, we were very right. ethnic looking and, and the people just, just loved us. As a matter of fact, he called us the lovely ladies. Wow. And, and, and that name just stuck. He said, I want to introduce these lovely ladies to you. And I said, right. that's the name of the group, the lovely ladies. Wow. So, wow. And then the original lovely ladies were Cindy Mizell and mm -hmm. Brenda White and Brenda White King and myself. And then later, it, um, <clears throat> like 10, 15 years later, it was, uh, uh, oh God, what's it? Candace Anderson, Sharon Bryant from Atlantic Star okay. and myself. Wow. And we would that that was the second incarnation of the lovely ladies. Right. So, you know, it's a, it just added another seasoning to what was already in the pot. I know. see. I yeah. see. Yeah. Now having that, that phone, that magical um I, I wish I could <laughs> see the phone. I know it's a magical phone in your house. And uh -huh. it has a G clef on it. Uh huh. And it rings it doesn't ring, it just lights up. Mm -hmm. And that means that the who's who is calling to Wafa because they need yeah. to get this work done. And I know you go uh -huh. in. I know your work because I know you go in the studio. Uh -huh. And I heard she comes in and knocks it out, man. She's like, next. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. no, it's not. It's no, we don't have to be in here all day. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like that. Just right, tell, right. Me, tell me what you want. Right. Tell me what you want and I'll sing it for you. Does that come easy to you to um, just walk into a studio, hear <laughs> something that you've never heard before and actually take it and run with it? Uh Actually, it does. But the thing is, that's why you need the, the artist or the songwriter there so they can tell you what road to go down. Because, gotcha. you know, you're bringing somebody in that's never heard your work before. Sure. It, it could turn into something altogether different. And right. sometimes people like that. And sometimes, no, we want you to stay in this lane. So okay. it's like, just, just give me the instructions and mm -hmm. then and I'll, I'll do what I can and, and we'll work it out. Right. We'll work it out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, um, I swear, I can talk to you till like next week. <laughs> How do you feel about sampling? Sampling yes. is fine okay. if you pay for it. You yes. can't just sample somebody's stuff and, uh, Absolutely. and it's like, well, oh, I, ha I have to pay for it? I well, you didn't write it. <laughs> Remember the law, when it, and Congress changed that law beforehand, mm -hmm. everybody was sampling music. Everybody was, sam everybody was sampling James Brown. That's right. Like James Brown wasn't getting a penny. That's right. That's you know, right. It's like, no, you can't do that. Can't right, do that. Right. The now, you, know, you have to get permission. You get sure. permission. There's a there's a there's a order about things. You know, you right. people call to, and look, Juicy Fruit is one of the most sampled songs in hip hop. Yes. You know, so it's like you have to get permission from the writer to to use the song. And Absolutely. once you do that, you can't just because every day I'm hearing something, it's like, that sounds like Juicy Fruit. That's juicy. Mm -hmm. I, I know that's juicy. And they chop and, it up. Know, yeah, they chop it up and then I'll call them to me. It's like you know, I heard this thing and said, oh, oh, that's cool because they got permission, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Because wow. you know, I don't know everybody who s samples, but I know what I hear sure. on, on, on uh, when I'm listening to music. So, sure. uh, you know, and so people ask for permission and thank God for Biggie. Yes. Ten, ten years later. He, yes. He, he resurrected that song right. and a whole new generation of people learned about Juicy Fruit. Now you asked me if I had a question. Now that you brought up Biggie, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you. This, the other vault? The, the, <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, the, there's a ninth vault called the Vault of the Unknown. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was your response when Biggie sampled Juicy? What, when you heard the final product, like what was going through your mind? Because like that's you. I, no, no, no. He sampled the track. He right. Didn't, he didn't sample me. Right. But when you hear, then, when they, you hear Juicy, that. right. But when I hear Juicy, I think of Tawatha. Although. Okay. Okay. Although James M. Toomey was the mastermind. Right. Right. I hear. It's it it it, it it's like this. It's right. Yeah. It's so married, right. when I hear people sample Juicy, I'm I'm glad because that's first of all another generation of when Biggie did it, it was another generation of people are hearing the song. Right. And then it's fine when you get permission. Absolutely. They got permission. Absolutely. It's like he, the Puffy did it right. He did right. it correctly. And the, the, then uh, other people sampled it. Keisha Cole. I mean, when Missy Elliott, well, they did, and they called it Let It Go. 
you right, know, right. but it That's was right. still, it was juicy. And then, uh, and other people have done it. Um, I'm just talking about the singers who've done it. Uh, yeah. I can't think about all the rappers who've done it, but you know, sometimes you hear it embedded in their tracks. You hear it as a Jennifer Lopez has done it when she did the Super Bowl. Wow. Um, it's like, wait a minute. I hear she did, <laughs> she did the song with the juicy fruit sample in it. Incredible. And uh, it's like, oh, I, I hear it with her. So, I mean, right, you right. know, I, I love it when, when people sample because mm -hmm. uh, it, it just allows other people to hear the work that you've done. Absolutely. Now, not that they know where it originated from because everybody right. thinks it's Biggie because right. that's, the, that's the age group. But, right. but the people who knew Biggie, uh, Biggie's relatives knew that it was him too bad. You know <laughs> what right. I mean? That's right. So, That's right. so if you follow, you follow the, the track, it goes all the way back to him too bad, but most people think it started with Biggie. Ah, uh, yeah. see. But I love it. I love people sampling, but you know, if you do it the correct way, right. you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but right. you gotta, you know, you have sure. to, there's a, there's an order to things. What's that old saying to you got to pay to play. Mm, yeah. Got to pay to play. Absolutely. Got to pay to play. Absolutely. Got to pay to play. Yeah. Now, what I want to know from my own personal um, information is, who was your musical hero? Ooh. Uh, in what respect, though? You mean in general? Well, let's, let's, let's see. So we got, we got lots of time. Because let's see. That, that would be Aretha. That would just, okay. be, that would just be Aretha all okay. day, every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Aretha. That would right, be okay. really, yeah. And as far as a uh, songwriter, who would be your musical hero? Um, I love, um, ooh, love. he wrote, uh, the, I want you album with, uh, uh, Marvin Gaye. Oh, what was his name? Oh my God. He's been to my house. I can't even remember his name, but okay. he, uh, uh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to sing the song to remember mm -hmm. his name. Okay, let me give you some others. My okay. musical heroes would be Ashford and Simpson. Yes. It would be, I gotta find out this, I got, look, I gotta find out this man's name. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna go into that. I, I, look, I gotta We're gonna go phone. into that. Listen, this is, a, <laughs> like, this is a wonderful conversation and I'm having, I'm having a blast right now. I'm telling you, it's like New Year's yeah. Eve. Right. What was his name? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Ashford and Simpson, mm -hmm. Aretha. Um, oh my God, he wrote a song called Musical Massage. <laughs> Many Ripperton sang on this. Um, Let's see. Let me see if I can look it up. Let's see. Okay, so who, uh, uh, you can look up uh, a 1975, you can look up the I Want You album and see the songwriter on I Want You. It okay. would be Marvin and the other name. The other name, because he did an album that sounded so much like I Want You, but you know, it's like, you can't do two of those. And um, you're not talking about the young guy, the young guy. Oh, it's like musical massage. Let's see. Musical massage. <laughs> so we check it in that, that other vault down. We, we missed a song in the vault. Okay. Let me... No, no, not him. No. Okay. No. I'm looking for, let's look for the song. Wade, Wade, Wade no, not Wade. No, Wade Marcus was our, our arranger. Um, your library. Okay, let's do it. Marvin, Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Oh, please. Uh, Marvin Gaye. Let's look up Marvin. Let's find, I want you. Okay, search your album. I got all my gospel stuff in here. I love gospel music. That's Marvin. a beautiful thing when you're... Marvin Gaye. You, you can artist. dig into that Google vault. See, now we're in the Google vault, folks. Okay. <laughs> I want you. Well, but they, of course, you see, they don't give you the credit. Right. They just give you the titles. So. Ah. Can I, can I make one phone call, please? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. That you is... can do whatever you want. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Let's the beautiful this. thing about entrepreneurship, Twapa, is you don't have to answer to nobody. So you, want, you can make two phone calls. Because I got to find out who, because I can't. No, go ahead. I, he just passed away too. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Please pick up the phone. This is just like, uh, what's that game that people um, play and they, they say, can I make a phone call? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and of course, nobody's home. 
Nobody. Hey, beloved. I need, I need, I'm on the air. I need you to answer a question. Who wrote I Want You with uh, Marvin Gaye? And he did, he did musical massage. And, you know, your friend was on the cover. Leon Ware. Oh, ah, thank okay. You, thank you, my dear. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm on the air. I got to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Leon Ware. That's how, that's how deep Tawatha goes. <laughs> Listen, Tawatha's like, what's the name of that song? <laughs> Bam, here we go. There we go. So Tawatha has her own Google in the, in the, in the ninth yeah. vault. He's my personal Google. There we go. Uh, yeah. we and go. that was that was James and Tume on the phone. Nice, uh, nice. Uh, so, um, so Leon Ware. So we have Ashford and Simpson. We have Aretha. We have Leon Ware. Okay. Um, because I love the things that he did with, with Marvin. Okay. Oh, it just took it to another place. Not wow. that it was all Leon, but I could hear the influence right. and the orchestration and the background vocals and just like the multi tracks. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. And then of course there's um. Jeffrey Osborne, Love Ballad. Yes. That 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 whole thing right there was like, mm. Right. Mm. But, but still, now we're still in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> we're still in the 70s. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's and all right. Listen, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, when you got all these years of knowledge, I mean, you know. And then um, there is... Um, um, who, who, who are my favorites? I love um, Brown Sugar. Uh, D'Angelo. D'Angelo, yes. yes. D'Angelo. That yes. Brown Sugar, that album was like every cut on there right. is just amazing. Um, what else? Uh, what el other albums do I like? I like, now Now we're talking about, they're not so much my influences, but mm -hmm. things that, that I love. Right. Um, the, the Jasmine Sullivan. Yes. Um, because I have hotels, but I also have the, uh, I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears. I'm just like, mm, very yeah. nice. Yeah. But, you know, I think the record company tried to change her into something that she wasn't. So she's like, I'm not having this. Right, um, right. I'm just going to wait and come back and do my thing. But I love her yeah. voice. And um, there's a young woman gospel singer named Leandria uh, Johnson. Okay. Um, who is beyond excellent. Um, mm -hmm. she's like the bad girl of gospel. <laughs> <laughs> the bad girl. I know, I know you're talking the bad, about too. <laughs> the bad girl of gospel. And I love right, her. Right. She, she just speaks her mind and right. sings her songs. And, wow. um, who else? Um, uh, Rasan Patterson. Yes. You know Rasan Patterson? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I love him so much. Absolutely. I, I follow him on social media, but I had all of his music anyway. Okay. You know, so uh, that um, so that would influence me the the D'Angelo's, the Ashford and Simpsons, and the Aretha's, mm -hmm. the the soul the soul of Aretha, right. uh, the the chords from Ashford and Simpson, uh, the 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 vibe that what they call neo soul, right, um, right, which is still R and B to me, but uh, the neo yeah. soul of of D'Angelo, all of that 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 touches me. Because yeah, you me. know Valerie and um and Nat, they went to uh, music and art in New York. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. Didn't yeah, know she that. was an incredible pianist as well. Yeah. I wanted to be just like Valerie Simpson. Did you? I did, except I didn't play as well. <laughs> I didn't play as well. <laughs> and I didn't want to put in the time to, right. to, to do that. Because it's like, sure. oh, you know what? I think I'll just sing. Right. You know, right. And let somebody else play. <laughs> wow. And, and you know what I want to ask you, too? I've been wanting to ask you this for a long, long time. What's what that? do you think about the arrangements that... Um, our brother, our beloved brother, Nat Adley Jr. put together on so many of the Luther remakes. That's what I want to ask you. Classics. All yes. classics. Yes. All classics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because, you know, because I would look forward to uh, what was going to be the uh, the remake on each sure. album. Right. What, what's it going to be this time? Right. You know, right. And it's just like, and Luther would kill it every time. But every the arrangement time. was always there. And it right. was like just perfect for Luther. Right. You know what I mean? Nobody. I don't think anybody else could. It, Never it, seen no. it before. No. He can no, turn no, no, no. the remake mm -hmm. and make it sound better than the original. Yes, 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 yes. And and the and the and the original was a classic. That's right. So it's it's hard when you're House doing is that. House not a home. It's, it's either you're going to do it just like the artist did did it, or you're going to do something to make it a tad better. Right. You know, but the house is not a home. It's like, well, well, who wrote this? 
Right. Uh, I mean, and I know who did it. Bert Backrack. <laughs> Bert was it Bert Backrack and Hal David, I believe. Okay. Uh, but, I believe. Uh, what was it? Why am I thinking Leon Russell? No, no, I think uh, yeah. oh, we got to go to the other vault. Hold on a second. Go to your vault. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking right now. Who? Um, because uh, uh, no, Le Leon Russell did something else. But I'm almost but, sure it was Burt Backrack. Back, but look, Backrack and David. I mean, that's right. Hal David, yeah. Hal David, what yeah. great lyricist and and uh, Burt Backrack, Hal David, and yeah. um, and I'm thinking what? Oh no, there was another song. Um, See, Luther did a great classic on every album. Right. And the House Is Not a Home was like the, the big one. Everybody was waiting for that. Right. Everybody was yeah, waiting. Yeah, Burt Backrack, Hal David. Yeah, I was right. right. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I mean, he always did that because when I was working with him and mm -hmm. I was on stage, Fonzie and I would have to stand throughout th that whole song, which was a very long song, right. to, be, to not be moving, you know, <laughs> not be right. moving. Sure. And, and, uh, and and you got on heels. <laughs> yeah, his was like, oh Lord, what is this song gonna be on? Right, right. <laughs> like, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Woo. But no, no, but Luther brought the house down every yes, he time. Did. And mm -hmm. all the Nats arrangements were just it was just a perfect pairing with his with Luther's right. voice. Absolutely. A perfect pairing. Yeah. He did a voice. song, I think a remake of was it Stevie Wonder? Creep. Oh yeah. I think Stevie wrote Creep. Creep, creep, creep. creep. And that, yeah, when you guys did that live, and then there's 20 times, creep, 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 but it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, yeah, incredible, incredible, it definitely worked, no, no, but that was a great match, though, with Nat and Luther, yes, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. And that's like from what Sesame Street, I mean. Um, from... They they grew up in Harlem. Yeah, but they yeah they, they did, did work they on the did. Sesame Street. Oh no, right. um, um, no, no. Fonzie was, was with um with Fonzie was, and and Fonzie, Luther Robin, on Sesame. Right, and I think but there was another another thing that they did together. Because um, Nat's dad was uh, Nat Adley Senior, and his uncle was Cannibal Adley. Right. So Nat oh, no, I know, and I know the jazz history because in two right. from the Heath brothers. So right, it was like, right. They're like, it all oh, it yeah. all lined up. You see how you, you know, see how far back we connected. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. But Nat, I know yeah. Nat told me he met Luther. Oh, in listen, Harlem. my brother. They they sang it. Listen, my brother. Listen, there you go. Listen, my brother. Yeah, at the Apollo, right? Brother. It was at the yes. Apollo. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And so yeah. it's all of that talent there, and, right. and 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 everybody went on to do something great, which was right. like Hot Tea. I mean, Hot Tea didn't stay together, but right. we went on, all went on to do something amazing absolutely you yeah. know so it's just like yeah. you know that yeah. that was that's what it was supposed to be for that time right and then that was the foundation howard gave us that foundation we met right. at howard and then everybody just went on to do to do their thing Incredible. Richard, like a famous psalmist angela songwriter producer singer right. uh shelton is is a uh um music director for um uh broadway plays oh, wow. uh, 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 and um um uh, Elette mm -hmm. is uh, the, the, the look. She played yeah. so well until it was like ridiculous. Wow. And she she was the type that could play it once and had it memorized. Wow! And it's like, and wow. she thought everybody could do that. It's like no, right? It's not. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. That's like that's like Nat doing arrangements on a on a, on a uh, Starbucks on a, napkin. On a napkin, right? And I looked and at him. I said, "What are you doing, man?" Oh, right, this arrangement. Is a, this is the, the next the, show. This is the next the, show. But only he could understand. Only he can understand. Right, 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 right. right. And, uh, and yeah, and Elette is, I think she is now a principal in at a high school in Sacramento. Oh wow. So okay. I mean, you know, everybody went on to do something really nice right. for themselves. So right. you know, what it is is what it is. That's the way what's yeah. the way it was supposed to be. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, yeah. we, we you and I both come full circle now. I mean right. it's it's a pleasure, man. I don't know. man, there's so many questions, there's so many so many right. unanswered so many songs. You got to come back. Right. You got to come back. Absolutely. Promise Absolutely. me you're going to come back. I, I didn't even talk about the people that I really like. So, uh, Let's I mean, talk sing, about it. singers, uh, you know, this is like, well, you know what? Next time. Who do you know? Well, let, let's, let's throw it in there real quick. Okay. Who do you like? What singers do you like? Okay. The singers that I like might not necessarily be recording artists. Okay. So, um, 
I have a, a, a there's a, a young man by the name of Marlon Sanders who okay. happens to be my vocal coach. Oh wow! So, so you know, you gotta you gotta keep the you gotta keep the keep instrument. Keep them chops up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's not like you just don't wake up and sing like this. You know, you got you gotta preserve it. You gotta right, preserve right, it. Right. Over the years, he's helped me tremendously. Wow! And then there's a young lady by the name of Ayana George, who. Um, I tried to get to sing with when I was looking for singers for the Dave Matthews band. Okay. I asked her to sing, but she was singing in church and she she couldn't she couldn't leave. So, yeah. but now now she's she, you know she's a little more open to doing things. The secular um, music, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then um, there's a, a Melanie Daniels, mm -hmm. and uh, of course the people that I came up with. Uh, uh, you got that Cindy Mizell, you got Lisa Fisher, yes. uh, you know, and just. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a lot of good singers. There's so here. many. I mean, it's a lot of good singers. I can't even imagine what the look. They don't even know what this is. The Rolodex looks like. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's like no, no. You can't, you can't have my phone because you must be looking, looking at these numbers. Yeah, no, no, know. no, no. I mean, like the Rolodex of. Uh, remember back in the days, you had the Rolodex and you had to turn right, it. Right, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right, right. So, the Rolodex no. that you have with contacts is 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 just mind blowing. And uh, as I said, and that's the, the one you just like you spin the wheel. That's right, you, you spin, spin the wheel. wheel. That's yeah, right. The, that's with, right. With the singers but and see the now music. in today's technology, your phone lights up and it just tells you the person's name on the back on that G clef. You see? There you go. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, and, and if so and so calls, then that's about a job. That's we right. Know that's, that's right. About a job. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> One ring is the conversation. Right. The second ring is the job. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. So it's a, it's um. What can I say? Yeah. What can yeah, I say? That's good. It's, it's, it's been good. It's yeah, been good. Yeah. You know who else I like? Yes. Okay. Go for it. I love Hezekiah Walker. Yes, yes. Hezekiah Walker and Love Fellowship Choir. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And of course, Richard, Richard Smallwood. Richard Smallwood, incredible. Yes. I, I, Richard Smallwood had a group called Celestial Sound, and I was mm -hmm. the sub when I was at, at Howard. Uh, so I would fill in when one of the girls couldn't make it. Okay. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's just, it's just been... It's been a beautiful, beautiful journey, yes. and I'm looking forward to the next chapter. I don't know right. what it's going to be because, like I said, I never, I never sought anything out. It it always came to me. Right. So I'm 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 waiting to see what the next chapter is going to be in this journey. So wow. it's because I've enjoyed it. I, I wouldn't change anything, right. even with the, the the slow periods. Even with right. the slow periods, I would sure. not change. I would not change anything. But you, you lived the ultimate dream is to dream, you dream, you, you know, you dream and then you dream big and then you live that dream. It's like, what, what else could you ask for? You know? yeah, but but for, for me, it wasn't that big. I just wanted to see my name on the, on records. On the liner notes. <laughs> on the liner notes. I wanted to see my name on the liner notes. We don't went from liner notes to the vault. <laughs> To the vault, to all, to all around the world, singing on the beach in Rio de Janeiro with Lenny wow. Kravitz and wow. traveling with just you know everybody. I mean, it's just right. uh, it's what a life. Oh, what one more life. question. Sure. Who in the music business would you want to work with? Oh, who would I like to work with? Yes. Uh, okay, I would love. To work with okay jimmy jam and terry lewis great i would like to work with gamble and huff only because of that tradition of what they brought to the music right and um and then on the other side i would like to sing uh and not, i'm not talking about touring i'm just talking about right. doing doing True. a song i'm Absolutely. doing a song with uh my friends chromio um they call themselves the Funk Lords. Okay. Um, uh, and who else? Uh, I would like to sing something with uh, Rasan Patterson. Okay. Or D'Angelo. Because for some reason, they, they just grab my heart. For some reason. I can just, see it. It's just something about their voices. It just, you right. know. It's like, oh, well, what, what, could I add anything to that? Or what we could, if we could do something together. Sure. Um, and of course, there's always M. Tume. He's like, absolutely. You, you do, the, the production on M. Tume projects, priceless. 
price. Right. It's, it's clean, pristine, right. the old less is more kind of thing. Sure. Uh, it's just, I love that. Because it's not about what you do with, it's what you do with this, not what right. you can do with this. Absolutely. Not, Absolutely. not all of this in between. The, uh, that's what everybody's doing now, especially in gospel music. It's like, Woo, woo, woo. I can't even, I can't even follow the melody. <laughs> I can't even follow what, what is the melody? Right. Okay. We know we, we can do the acrobatics. That's fine. Right. But we don't have to do that for the whole song. Do Absolutely. We? Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, is there a melody? Right. <laughs> <laughs> or is it just, we going to just see how you could do runs. Right. You know, so there's a fine line between that. Cause you could do both. You could do both, but uh, well, see when you have that ear and you have that, um, the history mm -hmm. and the knowledge and the mm -hmm. talent, mm -hmm. it's, you know, you know, and, and but what you I know, don't like, go ahead. It takes a lot to do all those runs. Cause you got to land on the right spot. Right. You know, you got to right. land on the right spot. So right. it, it cause you, they have to practice. You just don't wake up singing like that. Absolutely. You know? So it's like, Okay, but then where's your where's but your? But you know melody? what I find too often? I find a lot of people are are following the music business as opposed to in other words, they listen to the radio, mm. they listen to a song, and then they try to duplicate. Or you'll have one producer producing ten artists, and he has that same sound. Well, right. or artist. or the record company wants the hit like the last hit, so everybody's singing the same way. Right. Yeah. Right. The, which is why with him too many. <laughs> He could have done Juicy Fruit 10 times, right. but he chose not to. He chose to, to, you know, do something different. Sure. And also, when the music changed, the personnel changed. Right. So if, if you look at our covers, there's different people on the cover. Right, right. You know, so uh, it's, uh, you know, I don't want to sing something that everybody else has sung. Right. You know, but if you're trying to, you're trying to get on and you're trying to make a name for yourself, then yeah, maybe, maybe you have to do it. But sure. I don't have to do that. You know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm old enough to know what I want. But when you're you the know. queen of music, it's, it's a uh, different thing. I mean, I, I, I consider you the queen of music. This is just my, and I listen, I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm telling uh -huh. you, I'm not saying it's just to make you feel good. I'm just being straight up. You are the oh. queen of music. I mean, for you to sing with so many legends and to, um, I've been to many Luther concerts. I've yeah. seen lots of concerts and I've seen you back there in that pit. And mm -hmm. you was doing your thing. You had your little headphones on and yeah. you was doing your thing. And I, I mean, you yeah. were rocking. And like I said, not too many people can pull that off live. Yeah. So yeah. Do it. Well, and you know, and I, I think for me, it's the thing of not being in the front. I, right. I, I don't, cause that's, that's pressure. That's, that's just, that's too much pressure. Right. Right. That, that's, that's a lot of pressure. So, uh, you know, but, but, but being in the background is also it's also pressure because you got to hold it down. I mean, you, you're holding yeah. down like the, the biggest artist in the world, you know, and yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot to really, um, to withstand, you know? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Have you ever yes. sing with, um, Beyonce? Another question for you. No, I have not. Okay. I have not sung with Beyonce, okay. but she, Miss Beyonce is, has her own lane. You yes, know what she I mean? does. Yes, she, she has does. her own yeah. lane and so proud of her. She, for me, uh, just to, to compare her to somebody, she is our, uh, she is the the Tina Turner of her generation, right? Absolutely. Know, without all the that extra drama, right? But exactly. She, she mm -hmm. is performance wise. She she's she's all of that. She's yeah. all of that. Totally she, agree. Yeah, totally yeah. Agree. And she's done. Oh, she, oh my God, she's Beyonce. She talking about Queen B. <laughs> now that now for real, that's that's a true thing. That's a truism. That's right. a truism. That so she's the Queen B. See, there, queen there's the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Yes. And then there's Tawatha Ag, the Queen of Music. And then there's the Queen B, Beyonce, because Queen, she's got her own, like you said, she's in her lane and, she has and she's her doing own, well. She has her own lane. Absolutely. And, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. So Absolutely. I, yeah. I have no problems with the Queen. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to rumble with the B, but <laughs> no, 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 no. That's like, like little Kim. No, 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 no. I'm not going to rumble with the B. Yeah. Wait, do you remember the movie, um, what was it? No, it was a uh, Muhammad Ali, the Thriller Manila. I don't want to. I don't want to rumble with the Thriller Manila. 
You're right. Right. Yeah, yeah, oh, no. Yeah, That's yeah. please. But, you know, we have such icons. We have yes. the, uh, the, the Muhammad Ali. We have, Beyonce yes. is an icon. Yes, she Somebody is. Somebody that for, for our young women to look up to. Absolutely. You know, and and I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud of her. Yes. Quite proud yes, indeed. She's a, an incredible artist. Absolutely. And always doing something different, you know, whether right. it's her videos or whatever, and her daughter's clothing line. And it's just like, that. that's right. That's right. Sure. Keep it in the family. Keep it, Keep in, it the in the family. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Absolutely. I wish, I wish, um, you know, back then when you guys came out as, you know, back in the eighties, I wish there were so many opportunities for to become an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it, was, but it was different. It was, it was, yeah, it, it, was. Different. it was, it was, different. yeah, it was, well, listen, you know, you got to promise me if you, uh, I'll, I'll I will absolutely. Look, 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 look. Hey, to I'll that. say, please, can you please come back? I'll do my Vaughn, my Vaughn interpreting. <laughs> Hey, Tawasa, can you please come back <laughs> and come on the March Pod? pod it, it was so funny. I would call Vaughn while he was on the air because, yeah. <laughs> you know, he had that hotline number. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> And he'd have guests on and said, ask him such and such. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he would say, I, I love Vaughn Harper. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't see your Vaughn. face. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I, my, I've known Vaughn. My, my, um, my computer's about to go out. So that's all right. But listen, we're going to wrap this up real quick. Um, thank you. My pleasure. For coming on. Um, it's a pleasure. Yes. Got to come back. We must do it again. Absolutely. 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 And Absolutely. I'll, I'll try to have some more things from the vault. Oh, you. listen, listen. We Listen, We. I have to go get a shovel. I'm getting ready to go to Home Depot <laughs> when I leave here. And I'm going to go pick up a shovel. I, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a shovel. Okay. Okay. So, they can, so they can, we can dig into the vault because we're going to have to dig deep. I hear next you. Next time. All right. Our pleasure. Uh, it was a pleasure. Um, Tawatha AG, everybody. Um, your website. TawathaAG.com. T-A-W-A-T-H-A-A-G-E-E.com. And your Instagram, I will put in the description. The same. At, at Tawatha AG, Facebook at Tawatha AG. Absolutely. Hold on one second. Okay, don't go nowhere. Thank you so much. All right. All right, hold on. All right. All right, it's loading up right now. <laughs>